Hello, everybody. I've missed you all. Oh, my gosh. It feels great to have, be back here with you guys again. Thank you, Ben, who's not here right now. He's probably <laughs> taking a break for for <laughs> managing it for the last. He, he may or may not show up tonight. Well, he was he was a trooper. Boy, I tell he, you, he, did, he did a great job. He did a, cool, he did a he good did great. job. I'm glad he's a good, good host. He um, got the video to me. He got the photo to me and everything, you know, just wonderful. The second time Adrian and I thought we might be able to make the second game, the one when we were in New Mexico, but we just got in, got our car, went to the grocery store, went, got some food, brought it back to our Airbnb, checked into our Airbnb and said, I'm not moving. <laughs> <laughs> where, would I, where would I put my lap? there wasn't even like a table like a lap place to put your laptop it wasn't uh that kind of airbnb so we we're like oh by the time we do it, it's gonna be like 8 30 and uh forget it we were just what, was it haunted like the raleigh one with the no, ghost no not haunted at all no. thank you jamie How'd... yes you can jamie <laughs> jamie wants a category in <laughs> Which is hotter, uh, North Carolina or New Mexico? Uh, we were in um, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's nice. That's yeah. where we had the. There was nothing Maybe. haunted there. No, Did you take a left there? turn? <laughs> no, I took a lot of left turns. <laughs> which which place was hotter? Oh, which place was hotter? Yeah. Oh wow. Um. <coughs> Uh, there were cicadas all over in uh, St. Louis, <laughs> well, mm. only only in my hotel, not at the zoo. And that weather was pretty good. But when I got to Albuquerque, it was pretty darn hot. But I don't know. I think I think Raleigh. I think, but it rained. So way high. They were both really so, happy towel day. <laughs> Same. Rob's playing music or something. I don't know what's that. Happy towel day. Anyway, so we'll. We're going to have articles coming out on it and everything soon. Gail's going to be on team one. I She didn't get here in time for the for me to put her over there. So uh, let's get our team names. Kat, Mono, Ron, and Gail. And this one was inspired by Faith. Was Beethoven a USPS fan? He did write the Ode to Joy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's really reaching. Okay. <laughs> But it's adorable, and you can say all the words. Okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Celia, Faith, Romero, and Lee. Have you read the Wikipedia on Spanakopedia? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's a mispronunciation of Spanakopita from one of my favorite YouTube channels. And when I heard them say the Wikipedia on Spanakopedia, the Spanakopita, <laughs> yeah. They were trying to say Spanakopita. I was like, we should use that as a team name. because That's Susan really good. Have you read the Wikipedia on Spanakopita? Copedia. Yeah. Say it fast. Have you read you the book? Okay. Today. This is a, a Spanakopita. Spanakopita is a new word to me. Oh, it's spinach and cheese pie. Yeah, it's Greek. Mm. It's great. Oh, it's great. yes. Oh, it's a food. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, 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 they yummy were taste yummy testing yummy Peter Jones product. With that, with that Greek pastry when it's mm. done all nice and light and fluffy. Okay, Carl, Vincent, Wendy, and Deborah. Okay, just a sec. Let me get the chat. <clears throat> Jolly green giant spiders from Mars. Oh, that sounds sweet. Mark was just talking about that. I, apparently, we're going to be invaded by spiders, giant yep. spiders from, they're from they're the in coast. New York right now. Is that right? And they're, not here. they're not here yet. Yeah, and they're okay. but the original Martian spiders were only three legged. Yeah, yeah, but these have four inch long legs. <laughs> well, cool. I could use them over here. All right, cool. Alan, Jamie, Janine. If you're a starliner, you can grab the ISS by the. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a star, you can. Okay, I get it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and Wait, Alan, Garrett, Cindy, that. Jim, and Rob. <laughs> Can you read that, Carolyn? Instead of a flag, we'll fly the bird for Alito. That's great. And even upside down. 
Wonderful. No Trump ones this week. I mean, he's sort of in the, but <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing complete. So uh, Adrian said she'll show up late. Um, and Jane said she'll show up late. No, wait, did Adrian say she's going to show up late? She said she was going to try. Okay, Jane's going to show up late. Karen's going to show up late. And Caspian's seeing if he's going to show up. He's not sure. He's waiting until Jamie comes home. So there may be other people who are going to come hang out with us soon. So just FYI. Keep your we only have home. three people. I know. I do We're only going to have two for round me. one. <laughs> well, you'll have Susan too. Oh, that's <laughs> true. Two and a half. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, wait, wow. get, get yeah, yeah. 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 So I gotta ask Kat, is it your birthday? No, she always wears a tiara. Oh, oh, oh look, here's Ben. It's just a tiara Thursday. Like, come on, peeps. <laughs> so, yeah. Thursday. Okay. I'm so okay. bummed I can't Janine, find I'm my gonna tiara. give you Ben. Okay. All right. So now we we'll got take it. Ben. Are you Yay. Good? Well, and Mano has to leave at the break too. So yeah, um, if people don't come till super late, we'll, we may be down to two pebbles. That's okay. You'll be right. So it's my yeah. first day of summer break. Yay! 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 Where's your tiara? <laughs> I need one, huh? It's all right. right. Yeah. Like, now you feel underdressed. I do. <laughs> That's what we do. These are our tiaras. <laughs> yeah. 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 there you go there you go, there you go. Yeah. yes sir I, I was just informed I, I, all this time <laughs> i've been coming here i have not realized do you do the guys who do the categories do you do them in order of team order one two three four five yeah yeah, yeah. Have you always done that? Yeah. 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 Only if only if somebody has one, only if somebody's turn is up and they say, Boy. I can't, I can't, I'm not ready or something, then we'll flip somebody for another. But that's only happened a couple of times. Yeah, we've always yeah. been that way. Yeah. We had to move the yeah. group. That's on team week. one. She's yeah. starting. And then it's gonna be Romero. He's on team two. Carl's is Carl next? Carl's on team three. And Alan, you're on four and rob's on bonus yeah you just don't do enough categories alan yeah who's on first okay <laughs> yeah. yeah there's ben ben we were just talking about you they were telling me what a great job you did we it's about to get run over from the last two weeks really appreciate what did i do i didn't do it you you're on team two you're on team period. four uh, we're tied for last okay <laughs> well done we're tied well done for we're also tied for first yeah. haven't so, started, haven't started yet, yet. So. All right, so here we go. Here's the team names for uh, game 218, season four, June 6, 2024. And the team names are, was Beethoven a USPS fan? He did write the Ode de Joy. <laughs> you guys didn't get it. Okay, uh, team two, have you read the Wikipedia on Span... Span yeah. Uh, <laughs> you have to say it correctly. Susan. Okay, Come on. have you read the Wikipedia on Spandcopedia? It it rhymes with Wikipedia. It's not that hard. I got the Pedia part on there. <laughs> You're so wonderful, Susan. I love it. Spandcopedia. <laughs> Spank That's something entirely different. <laughs> Spandcopedia. Spanko Spank okay. Might, have you read the Wikipedia on Spandcopedia? Yay! There you go. I did it. I can do it. I can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Team three, Jolly Green Giant Spiders from Mars. Oh, here comes Kevin. It's Kevin. All right. Uh, Kevin is going to go one, two. We'll put him in one because he's got, because we know we're going to be short with Mono leaving. Okay. okay. Right. Team four, if you're a Starliner, you can grab the ISS by the <laughs> woohoo. Um, and team five, instead <laughs> of a flag, we'll fly the bird for Alito. Hello, Kevin. We're just about to start. So, Kat, right. um, it's Kat, Romero, Carl, Alan, and Rob tonight. So, thank you for volunteering. I have one person for next week, so keep that in mind, especially you people who are just, who usually only make it the first two rounds. Uh, please volunteer, and we can put you in for one, one of the first two rounds next week, and that's not a problem. And um, I'm ready to start. So the next I'll volunteer for. Muscles, oh, oh, hold on. I'll volunteer for next week. Okay. 
but yeah. it has to be I have to be one uh team one or team two. Okay. Cat. Okay. Yes, my dear. For round one, the topic is stage names. Ooh. Ooh. I don't care if you may have done it before. Frankly, no, never I didn't look. That, I think. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you, um, you have to match the stage name to the artist's birth name. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give you 15 possible birth names to try and match to the 10 artists. Okay. So one through 10 will be the artists. Give you 15 names to match up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yes, ma'am. All right. Play with mud. I think we've so, done this before and everybody hated me. <laughs> I've done it twice. Right. Everybody can hate me now. I've done it twice. They've hated me, but that's okay. That's all right. Just join the crowd. Okay. So I'll read them off for the sake of the recording. Put them in the chat. So the 10 that you have to try and get their actual names are Elton John. Number two is Alice Cooper. Number three is David Bowie or Bowie, depending on where you live. Number four is Lady Gaga. Five is Vin Diesel. Six is Michael Caine. Seven is Jane Seymour. Eight is Charlie Sheen. Nine is Jamie Foxx. <laughs> 10 is Harry Houdini. And should you need a bonus point, if you can identify any of the red herring artists in Lou, I'll give you a point. Lady Gaga is not a real name. Shockingly, <laughs> no. I'm shocked. Well, I know the, you are. What was the bonus point thing? I didn't quite catch. I'm giving you 15 right. possible names to match up. If you can get one of the red herring names right, you can get a bonus point. Red, red herring name, you mean one that's oh, not one a, that's a fake. That's not a real one that's not in the 10. Yes. An so extra one, second. I'm gonna. Oh, so it's a a a. a thing. Oh, you're giving us their real names. I'm giving you 15 real names to match up to the 10 artists. Right, and so, so of the five aren't that aren't in the 10, if you okay, can figure so that, out who they are. But if we know just, one, I take, I take it that what you've just names. given are their stage names. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I doubt that anybody would name it, uh, their baby Lady Gaga. <laughs> well, Maybe you they never know. know these days. So we I know to, her real name. <laughs> we need to match Oops. them to the their name at birth. Yes, um, I'm going to delete that because I have them A to, a to O, but it's wanting to do a 1 through 15. And you guys know um, And um, so the bonus is, the, like, if there's an 11th, stage name that we can figure out the real name of right no. other, other way around right the other way around it's but basically yeah. like if there's a person's name on their name bob jones and bob jones is not anybody's name right. then that would be one of the red herring ones. if you score 10 points you won't need to use the bonus if you score nine right. points it's a real good odds you'll get the <laughs> one out of five or four that are left yeah. all right fair enough so so did, right. J so did Jane Seymour ever play uh, uh, Jane Seymour in a flick about Henry VIII? <laughs> I always wondered I that know. too. <laughs> she died. She's one of the ones that died. I'm just having to renumber everything because I have it in letters, but... We could use letters. We can handle that. No, it, it's giving numbers instead of letters. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's that's I like wrong. to match letters to numbers, so I'm just... Yeah, that was odd because I copied uh, the, the chat... Oh. Put in the spreadsheet, none of the numbers showed up on my spreadsheet. So, and yeah. I do that every week, but for some reason, I don't want to do it. Well, you, I discovered you, you that word. Wants one, to do use the a format in the word processor that causes problems. You should use one of the basic word processors that doesn't do fancy format. Every week, yeah. I try to tell people on my team this and they insist on using Word. I don't know why. I, I, I know. use the Google Doc. I just use no, Google No, use Docs. just use the text, the basic text editor. Yeah, use Notepad, Notepad or Notepad plus like plus. That. Yeah. There. All right, we're ready. Today, I'm going to figure out why everybody else has trouble with words, and I have zero problems with word. Mm. I might visit with you about how to change a setting. Then, okay, so you've got all your birth names and your stage names 
any questions before I shoot you to your rooms? Nope. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's weird because however no, you fine. paste, however you pasted it into the chat, if I try to copy like Elton John number one to eleven, I get no numbers when I. Yeah, I, I didn't get my that, numbers Rob. in myself because I had the same yeah. problem. I just said that. Oh, yeah, you're right. But that, but the letters copy just the yeah, numbers the letters don't. came out fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a Canadian it's thing. It's word. a Canadian thing. Send us right. to our rooms. Go to your rooms. You've been very bad. I tried <laughs> to make it just num I tried to just write out the number like as a number, like one O N E. Yeah, you were terrible at math, Alan. Well, that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me put these other stragglers here in there. Where do I go? Where do I go? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I put you Ben is in four. All right, Gail's I'll in be one. in four. And Kevin, you are in one. All right, I should keep And up. Susan, you're going off to one as well. I'm going to one too. Oh, don't be so sad. <laughs> no, I'll be fine. There we go. Uh, if you read the names, I was thinking of you. Oh, I'm I'm looking forward to this. Reginald Dwight. Yeah, Reginald Dwight is Hello is there. I actually even knew that one. I don't know Alice Cooper's. Alice Cooper is. Why don't we put the ones we know first? Yeah. That we'll know that yeah. they're not the ones we don't know, right? right. Yep. Skip it. Go to David Eric Weiss is Harry Houdini. Yeah. 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 Eric Weiss is Harry Houdini. Oh, it's Houdini. Oops. Um, Charlie Sheen is Estevez. Estevez. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Lady Gaga is Stephanie German. Yeah, whatever. That's German right. or whatever. Uh, where am I? Which one I just Charlie take Sheen. here? Oh, that was... Um, Charlie Sheen. That's right. I couldn't remember what he took. And yeah, then when we just did... Okay. There, that's that's Lady, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. And Michael Caine is Maurice Micklewhite. That's okay, that right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a better game name, actually. By the way, for the bonus, I'm assuming what she's saying is that, for example, if Vincent Fournier is not one of the ten, if you can specify, you have to specify yeah. who he really is. No, no, you just bonus. have to get one of the ones who's not who's not listed in the ten. The five names that are not listed in the ten, one yeah, of them is a totally bogus name. Oh, okay. I thought you needed to know who it was. I thought these oh, were real oh. names. They're just not necessarily these ten. <laughs> we're not using. We're not using five of them. Good, I like that I, even better. Ah, I have a feeling I know something. I think I know who it is because before I came into the room, Kat said, hurry up and get over to room two. I was thinking of you when I created this category and I think I know what she's doing. Would you like to tell us? Yeah. I think Agatha Miller is supposed to be Agatha Christie. Oh. I think. Because was she ever Miller? Well, there's no Agatha Christie in the. I don't think she's yeah, ever that doesn't, that that doesn't help us. Bonus. But it that would be the bonus. bonus. Yeah. But it wasn't so. Miller. Her name was uh, Miller. Okay, so then that's then it yeah. doesn't help us at all. <laughs> Miller well. The bonus. No, but if if it's not. Well, the idea is to not, find the one that's wrong. That isn't. Yeah, anything. yeah. It doesn't mean. Yeah, it does. It might be correct because it's not somebody else. Yeah. Well, it's the best guess we have so far. So I'm going to move her up to the bonus for the moment. Yeah, because that would. Why uh, else would she I'm say sure that to me? Miller. But yeah, I, I have no idea. Um, we did something on her recently, but didn't the other Chuck names. Vendella, isn't that um, Vin Diesel? I don't know, but that sounds really familiar, doesn't it? Chuck. Well, I was thinking Vincent Funier for Vin Diesel, but. I don't know. Ooh. For the Vin part. Jamie okay. Foxx was. Could he be Eric Bishop? That nice, boring name, Eric Bishop? I think he might be Marvin Lee a day, number N, letter N. Oh. I think, but I'm not 100%. Okay. Jane oh, Seymour. How many that... female names do we have left on this list? Well, there's only. Joyce and Dana. I'm not sure that Dana could be a man, man or a woman. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, how about Eileen Edwards? Is that Eileen? Uh, e I L L E E N. I've never mm -hmm. seen that name before. Not with yeah. Not Who that's else? unusual. Yeah. I wonder if Agatha Christie's maiden name was Miller. I'm trying to remember now. I don't think so. Having written that category, of course, we always call her by Christie. So. Yeah, well, Christie was her husband's name, and then she married Mullahausen or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but he didn't, she didn't change her name because she was famous by then. Yeah, but Miller. Marvin Lee a day is Meatloaf. Meatloaf's not on the list. All right, so I'm going to put Oh, interesting. I, I did I did Meatloaf once before. I did him in this cat uh, similar no category. And I did I did I had he was one of my guys and uh I think I might have done Alice Cooper too, but I can't remember. And I did okay, um, so instead of Agatha Christie, it's Marvin. But, but Ron, well, Ron, but you have to say who it is then, right? Meatloaf. The bonus thing you should keep Agatha Miller there because the Ma Marvin Lee I day, if he's a real person, he wouldn't be the bonus person we are looking for. That's what I thought. I thought we had oh. to, we're supposed to pick one that isn't a real person. Oh, he's not a real person at all. Oh, oh, okay. oh well, well then Agatha, Agatha Miller is not a that that doesn't. So if you know that's Meatloaf, he couldn't yes. be the bonus, right? Meatloaf. Yeah, so he can't be the real birth, birth name. He's not the bonus, and he's not one of the answers. So we can do. Right. Are we now. sure we understand the bonus? If you yeah, 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 we should ask the red herring artist. Can you drag Cat back here somehow? I I just want to understand this bonus. Yeah, I know because it, it's, it's, it's worth a point. Won't you drop in later? We can ask her. Let's yeah, uh, let's keep going. Yeah, I... so okay. She's if if she doesn't show up, we'll I'll I'll just put her in here. Okay, David Jones. Could that be David Bowie? So Dana right Owens up. is Queen Latifah. No, M oh. is Queen Latifah. Oh, okay. So that we should Latifah. separate those. You can write the name of who right. they are. Yeah. After it. Yeah. All right. So we've gotten rid of these two. So this one is Queen Latifah and Queen. then Meatloaf. Wow. So that brings us down to two women, Joyce and Eileen. Is Eric Bishop the guy from wrestling? But that I was his it. name, Bishop. He was part of the promotions. That I don't know. Okay, we're looking at Jane Seymour. And there are Joyce, Joyce Agatha, Agatha. Agatha, Eric Bishop is Jamie Foxx. B, right. nine is B. Oops. Almost finished. Okay, we have a question. Yeah, I have a about question. This. Yes, go ahead. We're not quite sure we understand the bonus. Okay. If we have identified like we think dana owens is queen latifah is that what you're looking for for the bonus or no. are, or are you trying to say one of those five names that are not used is a fake name that doesn't belong to anybody and we're supposed to identify which one that is no if you can match the star to one of the other names that aren't listed in the 10 that's how you get your bonus point so that so if we're sure that at Marvin Lee a day is meatloaf. That would count for a bonus point. If that if was it's right, yes. Yeah, if okay. it's right. All so, right, yeah. thank I'm, you. I'm sure of that you, one. Cat. Okay, I'm so which one? Cat. You're sure of that one? So we'll go 100%. Back, so on back to the other one, the other answer. All right. Okay, thank you, Kat. Jane Seymour. So we got Agatha Miller. Are you all right if I close the rooms? I, I think no, you got no, 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 we, we still got a couple to go. Okay. Okay, I'll give you a couple. Remember, you have a two minute warning. So maybe in a minute. Okay. I think you're going to have a bit of an argument over the bonus category. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Alice Cooper is... Is it Chuck? Uh, David Bowie. Okay, well, Jane Seymour, there's only two choices. Yeah. Or, only two Agatha choices. Miller or Eileen. Oh, no, three. Eileen. Oh, Joyce, yeah. None of those names sound familiar for you, Agatha Christie folks. Um, I am guessing that it'll probably be Joyce Brennenberg. Alice Cooper is Vincent is his first name, so I think we have it wrong. Vin Diesel is not Vincent. Alice oh, Cooper okay. is Vincent. Oh, okay, good. that works. All right, so I'll move them. Uh, there you are. 
So we so we need something for Vin Diesel. Okay, what did you just say about uh, Jane Seymour? Is Joyce? I think she may uh, Jane Seymour maybe Joyce Frenenberg. That sounds familiar. No, it doesn't. Uh, but uh, I, one is that the first name starts with the same letter. The other is it's the kind of name that you might think of needing a stage name because it's kind that's of true. yeah. <laughs> you would. That's right. And Vin, Vin Diesel kind of looks Italianish, which is why I'm thinking I check Spadina or Spadina or whatever for Vin Diesel. He doesn't look like a David Jones or a Mark Sinclair, but I don't and know. And why would but, you change David, David Jones, right? Well, there's that too. Well, there the, already is a Davy Jones from the Monkees. That's why. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's true too. Although that's for. I don't know if that works for for music. I know that's true for actors. Yeah, but if there's already there was a there was a um Michael Michael J Fox was really Michael A Fox, but right. he changed his middle initial because there was already another Michael A Fox. But that's okay, because well, that's that's actors equity David, law rules. We don't have anything for David Bowie. So right. if his real name was David Jones, he might have had to change it and wanted to keep David. Right. It's as good a reason as I could think of. Okay, Vin and Diesel. So, Vin Diesel is um. There, Mark Sinclair. Ma checks. Mark Sin I would go with Mark Sinclair because I think I, go he, with that? I think his name okay. is Mark. I don't know his oh. last name. Okay, There's only Mark left. So. And then do That's we have it? all the answers? Yeah, we got the answers now. So if we get eleven, our we bonus. It's just a matter of the bonus counts into our account up to. Yeah, 10. that's what I was saying. If you get yeah. ten, you don't need the bonus. If you get right. nine, you got a f one out of four chances, uh, four out of five chances of getting pick. You know, there's only five names. You pick one of those that, that was. If you got right. nine, it's easy to get ten. Because yeah, there's only okay. five to choose from. If you're if you're pretty sure of the ones you got. Yep. But if you get like four, then it's harder to get that bonus because it's more to pick from. Yep. By the way, uh, before you guys all joined, we were talking about uh, just preparing for this. And I was saying I had about three or four bonus categories I had worked on. I just needed to finalize them before I volunteered. This was one of them. <laughs> and it was, a, it was a different list of people. No, but that's it, too bad. You, you might still be able to use it then. Well, I have, yeah. I've done this category twice, but I've picked people who are really... Uh, I did this before. They were and I knew... more obscure, more older people. Well, that's people kind of where, where, where I was. That was where I was going. And I don't know if I played the one where you did it. So who knows if I do the same ones. But if it's more than an hour ago, no one's going to remember. <laughs> I could do some categories that I did a long time ago. And I guarantee you people wouldn't remember. Well, Peggy's famous for saying, if it's been a couple hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've already forgotten it. If you ever stuck for a category. That someone doesn't show up, I'll just go back and pick one that I did a long time ago. I still have them all in a text file. We'll still be yeah. Like, yeah. What? I could just give like a choice. You guys want to do Brady Bunch, Partridge Family, um, you know, Billy <laughs> yeah. Joel. Or I have the first one I did three years acronyms. ago. Acronyms. Nobody's going to remember it. Right. Well, I'll have every category. I've got it on a spreadsheet yeah. here. And <laughs> trust me. Oh my gosh. I look back at these every once in a while. I go, I don't know. What you could do, Susan. And mm. so if we ever need a category, just roll a dice or pick a card or a number, random number. Oh, that's and go a good back idea. The list, the self, the cell that it is on the spreadsheet closest to it. Ask that question. Or I could just do Punch and Judy again. <laughs> or, <laughs> yeah, I get, get, I get two, I get two points this time. I guess the lighthouse and that. the Punch and Judy. So oh my hey. gosh, those lighthouse. Oh, we uh, Eric, um, not Eric. Um, his name is Lou. He, I saw him come on to Facebook and he was, he was saying something. He said he went, <laughs> he did a lecture for like the library on lighthouses. <sighs> well, I just did the, the, the quotes from famous people for the third time, but I use different, different quotes each time. And you I know did, that uh, you could go back and do the first one again and probably most people would still miss it. I did quotes from comedians once. I called it comedian lyrics and I also did cartoon catchphrases. That one I think I remember. I remember uh, Leonard was kind of funny. He was trying to figure out who said 
Uh, I hate Mises to pieces. It took him a long time. And he finally goes, Jinx, Jinx the cat. <laughs> I thought couldn't. she was going to close the rooms. She is. She's, She's, closing. It's got what it another is minute? Five seconds left. It's, it's on my screen. 65 seconds left. Yeah, I don't see it on my screen anywhere. You might have put the button. This wasn't it Tom and Jerry? Oh, there it is. It's, it's sharing right now. hiding under another screen. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I got it now. This the gives you a whole, whole minute to practice Susan Hispanic was in the over winter time. What? Our only time I was in Albuquerque was in the winter time, and it was warm when we were at the bottom of the mountain, but we got up to Albuquerque and it was snow. And I was really surprised. It's a fun Very little high. nice place, but it really was hot. But, you know, it wasn't unbearable. It just was not like I wanted to go for like walk anywhere. Right. And then it was the last part of my trip. I'd already been gone about 10, 11 days. So I was already kind of like, all right, I'm just dragon now. I'm a dragon. I was a dragon. But nice. It was a nice airport, though. What do you mean? Welcome back. Did everybody enjoy that? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was, it was actually pretty fun, especially <laughs> when we know the answers. Right. Make sure you read us the letters because I didn't write down the names. Not to worry. I'm going to do letters oh, and names. Yay. Jane. So I got you Jane. covered. Hi, Jane. Hi. Hi, Jane. <laughs> Let me know if you need Jane. eggs on Sunday. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You guys want some answers? Yes, ma'am. I think the first one everybody got Elton John is Reginald Dwight, mm -hmm. which was letter D for Dwight. So funny. Why would he why would he go from this funny name to it? Never mind. He's famous. Lots of conversation about who Alice Cooper really is. But Alice Cooper is I, Vincent Fournier. Good job. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, no. Vincent, Vincent, his name is Jen Vincent. Mm. These are oh. hard. Mm. it's David, hard because it's not the ones i know not it's the not ones you know well D i'm pretty sure you knew david bowie david bowie was c david jones yay, yay. does anybody yes. actually pronounce it bowie no no uh, bowie. a lot of only lot in of edmonton people. no in england they they call him bowie all the time so i just really you never know who could be watching this be so. okay we don't want to be confused <laughs> Lady Gaga is F, Stephanie Germanotti. Mm -hmm. Germanotta. Everybody it's Germanotta. Germanotta. Germanotta, sorry. Germanotta, yeah. And her sister got married this weekend, by the way. Oh, oh. awesome. Congrats oh. to her. <laughs> Lots of people we were thinking Vincent was Vin Diesel, but uh-uh. Vin nope. Diesel is J, Mark Sinclair. Yep. Kevin got that. He's also, mm. <laughs> Michael Caine was A, Morris Nicklewhite. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, good. Oh, it went from such down, a unique you know? name to such an ordinary one. How bizarre. Right? <laughs> Chose Jane to have the mark of Caine. <laughs> the mark of Caine. Jane Seymour is E, Joyce Frankenberg. Yay. Oh, that was I'm awesome. sorry, team. I talked us out of it. Ah, absolutely everyone and their dog should know that Charlie Sheen is Carlos Erwin Estevez. Yeah. Anybody not get that one? Estevez. I he threw in a, some easy. You gotta have a, you gotta have a gimme, right? He didn't know that Charlie Sheen was Hispanic. Well, well I, didn't, I didn't know his that. His brother is Emilio his Estevez. His brother is Emilio oh, yeah, Estevez. You know, and his yeah. dad, Martin yeah. Sheen, changed. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Father Ramon Estevez. <laughs> Ramon. Ramon. No. And his cousin, Fred Blitnikoff. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Fox is B, Eric Bishop. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. Such a boring name. Oh, bummer. Who names your kid bummer. Eric Bishop? My goodness. This one I threw in because I knew Susan would be on my team. Harry Houdini. Is Eric White. 
And, and yeah, 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 but I think I think we all knew that one. I know Gil knew that one. That's well, what you threw in there for me. Now for the bonus, does anyone know who Eileen Edwards is? I do. Did you choose it for your team as your bonus? Did I? No. You did no, another. You did a different one. <laughs> I chose Marvin Lee at day. Oh, okay. I, well, who is question. Eileen Edwards? Do you think? Eileen Edwards. Um, sounds familiar. <laughs> Mark Edwards' sister. <laughs> Mark Edwards' sister. Eileen Edwards. Mark got a uh, shout out. Eileen Edwards is Shania Twain. Uh -huh. oh. oh right, I should have known that. Damn it. That's why Agatha Miller. Familiar. Did anyone choose Agatha Miller for their bonus? And Susan didn't select Agatha Miller? Well, we were thinking it was Agatha Christie, but I got talked about it. It is about. Agatha Christie's maiden name. Absolutely. Oh, nice. Okay. I, I did know that one. Thank you. Thank you for throwing <laughs> it in. But we figured we knew we knew somebody else more, more was more exact. You might. Now, this one was the, the one that's actually not a birth name. Um, Chuck Spadina. That's Keanu Reeves' rejected stage name. Oh. Okay. So, oh Keanu oh, Reeves was too ethnic, so they, they were trying to get him to change it. And Chuck Spadina was on the table briefly. So Heck. You're going to change your name to Spadina? Because that's not <laughs> ethnic at all. Right? Hey there, Heck. Spadina. Well, nothing, nothing could be finer. I'm the one who argued that Chuck that's is just not so on a birth That's just so Toronto. Charles. Nobody names their kid Chuck. No. Did anyone pick Dana Owens for their bonus? You mean Queen yeah. Latifah? But we just took I a do mean guy. Queen Latifah. <laughs> yeah, Did anyone pick Thank Marvin you, Lee a day? Wait, wait. What was yes. the answer for yeah. Dana yeah. Owens? Yeah, Vincent yeah. Queen Latifah. Marvin Lee is Queen Latifah. Marvin Lee a day is meatloaf. Absolutely. Yep. Marvin Lee yeah. oh, day. I, I was like, Melody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's who we so, found. There they are in the chat. So I, st oh. I st still didn't hear M. Too many people were talking. Cat, just cat. M. Dana, Dana who Owens is? is Queen Latifah. Thank you. And it's all in the chat now, too. Good job. Oh, so we got it right because you said any of the red herring. Okay. Yeah, now yeah, I, yeah. Now I get it. Okay. You pick any of them. Well, well I'm going to use the excuse that I'm very sick today. So that's why I'm oh. kind of. Oh, we're sorry. Our team though got, we did good. We got. Yeah. Is it, is why it don't we get some today? scores, Susan? That yeah. was really good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we did well, I think. And thank you so much for that, Kat. That was, that was fun. Excellent. I think we could do more of those. those are, that was fun. So was uh, instead of a flag, we'll fly the bird for Alito. Seven. Okay. If you're a starliner, you can grab the ISS by the. Eight. Oops. How do I do that? That's eight. Okay. I missed it wrong. Uh, Jolly green giant spiders from Mars. 11. I'm, look, I'm looking and at the sheet. You, you, you just okay. deleted the average. You just deleted the average score. And and for the for the color coding on the right, it's also not working. So you did something wrong. I got to fix it during the break. <laughs> it was right. I checked it. I just deleted it right now. Okay. You realize, Rob, she just changes that to make you feel useful. <laughs> uh, well, I thank you. Thank you. Then. Some, thank you very much. To do. You have I a function here. I, hopefully, I didn't break anything in the spreadsheet. Encopedia. Uh, it seemed to be nine, working fine last week. Nine. nine. Okay. Nine. Wow. And was Beethoven a USPS fan? He did write the O de Joy. We got 11. 10. All right. Nine. So if somebody will check my numbers underneath, uh, Rob, if you'll check the numbers underneath, you will. I, I just looked them over and everything looked right to me. It was coming out fine. I just must have did it because I accidentally hit the eight in that box and I hit. No, eight. do you, do you see how there's two people I with ten? See there's it. two Where teams with it? ten and only one is highlighted yellow. There's something wrong. <laughs> not unless yeah. it's our team. Well, I don't see it, Susan. Where is it? No, no I'm not allowed I'm to show it. I'm looking at the file the directly. She's not sharing. Oh, we have it's the only they oh, can yeah. see it because they're special. Rules. Yeah. Good job. So your average was uh, eight. 
Nine. Way higher than my previous. Nine. That was, wow. was high. So make it yeah. more difficult. Yeah, that's hey, I'm back. I want to see more difficult stuff. All right. So okay. next up, we have Romero, who's sitting in a different room. So what do you got? Our okay. toilets. Uh, one second. Uh, so I have also people, but you have to say who these people are. And it's kind of a mystery, a little bit of a mystery. Oh, really? You did the same thing. That's too funny. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Well, okay. So uh, <clears throat> number number one, well, let me move the screen here once again. Uh, number one, born in New Mexico, his family moved around the country. Eventually graduating from Miami Palmetto High School, his graduation speech, in his graduation speech, he mentioned his hope to get all people off earth and turn it into a huge national park. He later started a business becoming very wealthy and eventually buying a newspaper. You know you're going to get in trouble if you don't get those in before you read them cuz mm -hmm. sorry sorry. Ah, you know how she gets. I haven't I haven't made the She gets ranty. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry Janine. We're we're little um, kids. We need to read along. Thank as, you, as we go. Romero. We have to read a around because otherwise we're reading the first question while you're reading the second, and then we confuse ourselves. Okay, yeah. this is true. All right. Well, number two is there. So, born in a Quaker family, she started collecting anti-slavery petitions at the age of seventeen. During the Civil War, she conducted at the time the largest petition drive against slavery. In 1872, she was arrested for voting in violation of laws that allowed only men to vote. She was convicted but refused to pay the fee. Ugh. Number three, a conservative commentator of African-American and Puerto Rican descent. In 2019, he testified before the House Judiciary Subcommittee Against uh, reparations for slavery, he believes that there is no evidence of racial bias in deadly police shootings, argues for colorblind public policies, and is currently a fellow at the Manhattan Institute. Number four, uh, American painter. She's the daughter of philanthropist Camille Cosby and comedian William Henry Cosby. She focuses on abstract pieces, was the recipient of the New York Foundation for the Arts Fellowship in Painting and was an adjunct professor at NYU. Uh, and then number five, born in Colorado, it is hard to understand him due to his voice being muffled by the orange parka hood he often wears. He has an alter ego called Mysterion. Number six, from Yorkshire, this English singer and songwriter is known for his style, for his stylistic explorations combining soul, funk, jazz, rock, pop, reggae, and blues. He won two Grammy Awards and an MTV Video Music Award. Some of the lyrics from his most popular song are, the lights are on, but you're not home. Your mind is not your own. <laughs> Number seven. Born in Kansas, days before graduating from high school, he and a friend opened fire on their school, on their high school peers. They placed homemade bombs in the school's cafeteria and committed suicide after perpetrating at the time the deadliest school shooting in U.S. history. Number eight. Uh, he was the longest serving governor of Massachusetts. While running for president, he was criticized for being soft on the fence. His response was to orchestrate a photo op riding an M1 Abrams <laughs> tank. A video of him riding the tank in a hamlet was used in attack ads. A week later, a poll showed that 25% of respondents were less likely to vote for him due to the tank ride. <laughs> Number nine, uh, representing New Mexico's first congressional district, she began her career as an ecology instructor at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. As a White House fellow, she worked as a policy advisor on the Council of, on Environmental Quality. She was a consultant at Sandia National Laboratories. And then number 10. 
Uh, considered one of the most successful country singers of all time, originally from Mississippi, singing at local rodeos and for prisoners was uh, a common activity from an early age. Dropped out of college at 19 and moved to Nashville to pursue a singing career, but it was not until 1993 with the release of the al album Take As I Am that they found success. Okay, any questions? What, it, what are you calling this category? Uh, people from history. M mystery people from history. Okay. Mystery people. I like mystery that. people from so, history. So you're not Faith is having a cow over. You're not giving yeah. us options of names. We have yeah. to come up with them. Is that correct? Yeah, what's Faith? That's right, what's yeah. going on with Faith? And I'm that's not a criticism. I just wanted to clarify. You, you, you did far too well in my round with names. So now no names for you. Yeah, no names for you. <laughs> Faith, what's wrong? Yeah, that's right. You can wait till we go to the room, Susan. <laughs> I guess she knows a couple of them, I hope. I think she figured means. out the mystery. Okay, send us to our oh. rooms. Okay, let me send you to the rooms. All right. So that wait, 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 it's obviously some kind of theme. Let's see if somebody else has come up with it. <laughs> Somebody's first name. Jane has it? She she one. What? I think it might have something to do with Faith. I think it might have something to do with three of us. Well, I know there was a lot of New Mexico. And well, I know one of them. The answers is Faith Hill. Right, and there's Which one was Eric that? Harris as an answer. There's a Kenny as an answer, and there's a Susan as an answer. So there's probably right. going to be a Coleman, a Melanie, everyone from our staff. Oh, oh, that makes sense. People who were at the New Mexico. Um, the uh, Columbine uh, question is what made it work because I was like, oh, I know who number five is. It's Kenny, and I'm like, well, what the is Columbine would be Dylan it's Eric Harris. It's Dylan Cobalt and Eric Harris. Those are the two Columbine shooters. And I hate that I know that. Wait, no, I Dylan, know and Dylan and Eric. Dylan and Eric. You know, and you Eric. know my oh, response to that oh, question? Oh, Eric Harris. Oh, Eric Harris. There have been know. way too many school shootings for me to keep them straight. I, yeah. I was like, I had no idea because there's been so many because there was no date on it. Maybe this was, one of the this was the original. This was Well, but original. it wasn't. It no, was the it biggest well. at that time, but oh, yeah. it's just been taught so many times. Okay. Yeah. okay, let's go through these one at a time with that. It's not the first school in mind. Okay. Good luck anybody else from her who wasn't in Raleigh. All right. Uh, let's see. Team. What, what about Rob? Rob is the only one. Do you think he's going to get it? He's the only person who was in Raleigh that is not on this team. Let's see. So, so okay. wait, Faith, you were saying the names, the answers are all people who were at the conference in New Mexico? Or their yeah. first names. Because their first know. names. Susan well, B. Anthony. Yeah, because right, number, number two is Susan B. Anthony. These so, are our speakers. Yeah. The speakers and stuff who were at psych. Uh, at the oh, conference. okay. So, so if they weren't in the Raleigh there. Skeptic Camp or not paying attention to the Raleigh Skeptic Camp, they're. Well, I did know Susan B. Anthony just because I know yeah. Susan anthony but otherwise um and i feel like i really should know um the uh the conservative uh, uh, going on against reparations but i can't think of him his name i can picture him actually because i've heard the you know <sighs> okay so number two is susan b anthony right what is the first one? I don't know. Okay, so how about we do this? Faith, Jane, and I, we were all at the New Mexico Skeptic Camp. So let's list oh, the people who were in there. Raleigh. In Raleigh, yeah. Well, number, okay. number so that, that uh, Lee and Celia have the advantage of knowing what <laughs> they do. Yeah, okay, number so five is Kenny. Well, five? Number five is Kenny. It's Kenny, the character from South Park. Okay. Okay, so Jane. He's of course Kenny. Yeah, duh. Okay, so Jane. So he's not a real person. Erica. Oh yeah, Erica. Melanie. Melanie. 
Coleman Watts, W A T T S. I don't know if they're going to find his first did, name. Did or you last say? Name. Did you say one of them, Faith? You already figured out one of them is Coleman. I don't know which one would be Coleman. Okay, and it might be his last name. Well, yeah. Okay, so number ten is Faith, or Faith Hill. And what was the one that was uh, Eric Harris was um, the killer? Um, That's number seven. Yeah. And Darryl that would be did... Eric who did a talk. Yeah. Okay. Uh, terrible to have the same there, name. There the also code. is Jeff. Eight, eight is Michael Dukakis. So I guess there was a Michael. That spoke. There was a Michael. There was a Michael. Okay. How do you spell Dukakis? D U K A K S I S. I don't know. Close enough. How do you spell Dukakis? It, you know, we don't get graded on spelling. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. It's it's Greek. Okay. Well, I got to write it on the. You know, screen. I remember. You know, he made a big deal his about being the the child of of immigrants of Greek immigrants, mm -hmm. and he had there's a campaign song the the came, coming to America, and I remember the contrast between that. That he was the son of two immigrants, and Obama was the son of one immigrant, and the and the questioning of his validity and his as to be president and his citizenship, and what's the difference? Da the color of his skin, <laughs> you know, it was okay to be the the son of European immigrants, but not of an African immigrant. So I'm just going to throw that little editorial comment out there, <laughs> and I think number six is going to be Rob Palmer. Like Robert Palmer, because I this oh, Bob Palmer. yeah, that, that would just make sense. Yeah, because, it is. That makes yeah. Sense. Okay, so we're looking for Coleman C O L E M A N Watts W A T T S as the Coleman part probably is one of these answers. We're also looking for Melanie and Erica and Jeff is probably the Erica other. Jeff. Yeah, that's that's who it is. It's an Erica, Jeff, Coleman, and Melanie. So there's your first well, names. So of Melanie, the how about number four then would be a Melanie Cosby? Is that right? You know, I, I don't know about him, him, his daughter. I don't know anything about his daughter being a painter or an okay. artist. Or... I, don't, I don't either. This but, is uh... Bill Cosby we're talking about. Yeah, yeah like I'm William guessing Henry Cosby. And, well, Cosby. the representative would either be an Erica or a Melanie. Okay, let's see if we can figure out one where it's used elsewhere. Romero, we figured you out. <laughs> that was very clever. Faith got it right off. So, good job. It's harder than poor anybody else. As well, yeah, I would have out. Too. Okay, let's see. Um, it, yeah. And we're being recorded, and we're never to tell Eric that I've always associated that with his name. Oh, to remember yeah. it. Yeah, it's terrible. Was there it's, it's, it's such was, a common that name. Wasn't his thing, that's, name a bar, was that's a weird Well, call, I, I was, I graduated high school in 2002. So, like, that yeah, whole was, thing. What year was the shooting? 99. Yeah. So, okay, question one born in New Mexico right he, yeah, he bought his a family paper so is there a coleman isn't there a coleman from mm -hmm. wait a second isn't there a coleman you know, from uh that cartoon this this statement of okay that let's get everyone off earth to turn it into a huge national park a national park not a world park we're talking about the whole earth <laughs> it's just like I, too crazy i'm trying to think of who owns who Jeff. bought a newspaper hearst Hearst. Like William Hearst. Randolph Hearst. But, but Hearst isn't that crazy. He didn't want to put all the people who, off Earth. Who who owns who owns newspapers? Could it be Jeffrey? No, Jeff Epstein. Jeff Delmer. <laughs> Fox. <laughs> they don't have a newspaper, do they? Oh, Fox News does have a newspaper, probably. Well, that's why I just threw that out there. But is it actually named by after a person named Fox? I think so. Hey, can I ask you a question? Wasn't Coleman the guy from South Park? No, that was Kenny. So isn't there a Coleman from one of those cartoon shows? I think I heard, I remember that. 
Coleman could be a last name. I thought Coleman was a was who oh Cartman. That's his Cartman. name. Cartman. Okay, yeah. that's what I'm thinking yeah. of. Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna <laughs> Okay, so we, we have four name here. four people to place and we have one two three so four spaces left so what names what names have we not okay melanie we have two coleman. we have two men two male names jeff and coleman so question one is a male name question three is a male name yeah question so, four is a female name and Wait, question right here nine is a the schedule right here on the, my desk <laughs> oh, oh well, my we, know, we know okay so look we need jeff one of these is jeff and one of these is but, uh, is there is there a conservative yeah. commentator who is biracial named jeff oh there you've thought of everybody well, okay and then there's coleman and buttons. okay look you guys this is easier than you think okay so question one Born in New Mexico, his family moved around the country. The answer is Jeff or it's Coleman for question one. I don't know the last names, but that's I'm going to just say Coleman because I don't know why. We don't know who the Coleman is. Well, okay. Question okay, three. Okay, became very wealthy. Question Jeff, three is also a Jeff male. Jeff Bezos? Who Jeff Bezos. Amazon? Jeff Bezos. Amazon? Well, okay. hold on. Yeah, yeah, Jeff Bezos. Let's go one Jeff Bezos. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying I, to think I of a yes very rich that. Jeff. That's I the say only yes to Jeff that. I, I didn't know that he, I didn't know he bought a newspaper, but I say I don't I don't probably. know that, but it said he started a business becoming very wealthy. Yeah, let's go with Jeff Bezos. Okay, so question three. And he would have a, a crazy idea of taking all the people off Earth and making a huge park. I, that okay, I, so I have no three. idea, but I mean he's so, so weird. High school, high school graduation. Or, <laughs> yeah. Right. So question three is going to either be Coleman, which is most likely because remember has been using everybody's first names, or Watts, W-A-T-T-S. So do we know a famous Coleman who was a conservative commentator of African-American and Puerto Rican descent? Well, Watts is kind of a black name. Coleman is also. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, I'd say we just put Coleman down for that. And well, is one name legit? No, but we'll it say, might be. We'll say we just put Coleman for that. And, okay. And he'll, right. Okay. Gonna, he'll say that's all right. Words. No, don't. Yeah. Okay. No, now, yeah. question it's four. Question okay. four. Yeah. Who are women? It is about. either going to be Erica or Melanie. I say Erica. But who, Erica, who? What? Erica Crosby. Okay. Yeah, Erica Crosby. Yeah. I know. I want to say Melanie Crosby could be but it's cosby cosby okay, so question nine oh, representing new mexico's first congressional district will you accept first names or do we have to give you the full name we have to know the full name because that's the answer to the question come on now so question okay. nine it is somebody named melanie or erica so you think it's melanie because we defaulted and put erica above do we know a first congressional district new mexican representative Ecology instructor. You Melanie. Were there recently, Susan. Huh? You were there recently, right? Yeah, I was in uh I saw the mountains. Melanie. Yeah, but or it could be Erica and we've got the other let's, one wrong. Let's go with Erica Cosby and come up with come up with last names for Coleman and Melanie. Melanie. We can just say Coleman, right, Romero? No. Uh, we have to know the answer to the question. Can we get half Aaron. a point and then get a total of one point for both? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Did anybody else figure it out yet, Romero? I think some people did, yeah. Some other teams. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm just wondering if Rob's going to figure it out because he's the only person who was there who is playing trivia tonight. Jane, myself, and uh, Faith were all there, so we're all like, we know you're not spread out evenly in the team. No. So <laughs> fair, that's not you fair. You need oh, me to be on the well, same team as you. We've only been talking it up, so they could know. 
And the video is going to be released. Melanie. What about Melanie Bishop? Who's that? I don't know. I'm coming up with the last name. Yeah, but then we'll miss it. But if we just say Melanie. Then let's leave like Melanie and call him. White House fellow. Because I just Richard asked him and he said, well. Let's just exactly. leave the he first name. He did not name. say no. He said, well. Kind let's of like leave the first names. <sighs> you don't think it's Melanie Crosby? You think it's more likely Erica Crosby? Well, I think we should go with the first one. Cecilia had said that before. Says go with, go your, with your first instinct. Go with your yeah, first yeah, yeah. So, okay. and since we're and since we're not sure, let's leave it as our first guess. Boy, and this was clever. It says, it says that she's the daughter of Camille and Bill. So even if she has changed her name, her name would have been Cosby at one time. So. It, well, so, I think Erica Cosby. It's fine. Oh, do you guys want the cat house? And then how Melody, awful to have your Melody. father as Bill Cosby after all, all that, you know. know. Oh, God, yeah. But he's, blind, and then, so he boom. but he's blind, so he can't see you flick him off at the dinner table on Thanksgiving. You can just <laughs> casually just like do this, like, dad. You well, shouldn't have Thanksgiving with that man. Thank you. Children he may have fathered. I would trip him over. Oh, oh, like, oh sorry, Bill. We started getting some DNA. Uh... Ooh. Hi, Bubby. What you doing? So are we just going to write Melanie then for number nine? Yeah. <laughs> and Coleman for... Oh, and we just wrote Kenny for number five, right? But that's yeah. the correct answer. So that's the correct name. answer. That's Kenny. Yeah. I forget what Kenny's last name is. I don't think he has. It. Does he have one? Kenny right, McCormick. Ready to close the room? Yeah. I think everyone else is done. Okay, yeah. send us back. We're done. Yeah. Kenny does have a last name, but I don't know what it is. I know, like Kyle is McCormick. So a lot of the other teams have been asking if they can just put in a, a, one name, not both names. That wouldn't answer the question. Unless it's just no, kidding. These are hard. Nobody Listen, fucking yes, we need that. we need that advantage also. If you want your team to get a hundred, if you want your team to get ten, you will say yes. No, but if he does that, then everybody else gets a point too. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Susan, we yeah, need but that. nobody's gonna have ten. Well, then it's just tough. We need well, that for three. Yes, so. you're me. Now, hold on. Give it to hold on. How don't about this? You them. don't get a point if somebody got both first and last names. No, I wouldn't do it because the answer to the question, born um, like um, it just doesn't make any sense. You're not really answering the question. Well, we don't know the up with only a first name. Melanie. We don't the answer for Melanie or for Coleman. And Kenny does not have a last name. Well, that's different. I think Kenny does, but I can't remember what it is. Okay, so leaning towards having having a name, a last name. No. I, I would because no. that's the, the question that's got to be answered. Well, what Except about the... Melanie and Coleman? We don't have a last name for that. Well, we don't, but I'm saying that the, somebody might, and you need to have that. Okay. The, so the question the... is, who represented the New Mexico's first congressional district? And, the, and, and her name is Melanie. Melanie only. But it's not Tracy, Tracy King. It's no. just Melanie something else. Like yeah, Melanie. We just don't know what it is. Like that's that. right. Somebody else might know it. It doesn't matter, but it's, yeah, it's not coming from call. His category. Mm -hmm. If you want to sleep in this house tonight, you will make the Romero right. Romero didn't do it. <laughs> well, hey, but if he if he does it, then it's going to end up, everybody he, he else got, is going to get a point he too. Got upset with us because the cats. That was mean. These were a little tough. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I figured out the theme though. Yeah, did it we was, get a bonus if we figure was, out the theme? It was it was neat and no. tough, but very clever. Very clever. Okay. Um, bonus for all right. So do I put the answers first and then read them? Or is that? Yes, please. I don't care how you do it. Oh, I, I like, I'm a visual person. I like to see the answers. I did mine one at a time. To <sighs> one at a time makes sense. 
Yeah, for this okay. guy. So uh, whatever makes you happy. All right. So number one is Jeff Bezos. Yes, you got it right. Yay. Number two is Susan B. Anthony. <laughs> Yay. Number three is Coleman Hughes. Oh, <sighs> who is okay. that? I get that one. I don't know. Well, mentioned his name, but I don't know. Mentioned the that. name, but I couldn't remember the last name. So if, if I could name no. all the uh, corresponding people that this is tangentially referring to, can I get a point? <laughs> First uh, names are fine, right? No. Uh, Eric, uh, for number four, is Eric Cosby. Oh, it's not Eric. Uh, uh, we guessed what we just Cosby? put Cosby. We guessed we got Jane Cosby. Cosby. Will that work? We no, have Miss Cosby. 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 If it's Cosby, <laughs> it's Erica Cosby. Uh, now, Aaron, Aaron, number five it? is Kenneth Kenny McCormick. Kenny Biddle. Mm -hmm. Kenny. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did we, did we need Park. the last name for that? Everyone just Kenny from South Park. Yeah, right? We need. We had Different. Kenny McCormick. Because I said Kenny me. McCormick. Number six is it Ralph is Palmer. <laughs> Number hey, seven ben, is Ben. We got Eric Kenny. Harris. Ben, we got Kenny. <laughs> did you Number kill Kenny? eight is Michael Dukakis. Yeah, yeah. Number nine is Melanie Stansbury. Mm, well, and can you number repeat number seven is, again, please? Everyone was talking. Number seven is Eric Harris. Okay. And number 10 is Faith Hill. Oh, duh. And the theme? You should get a point for that. Does anyone know the theme? Yeah. yeah people who right. are at your step to camp. People who are yeah. speakers <laughs> at the step to camp. And, and so I, that, I didn't that hear the answer. I didn't the hear the answer. Is, Do we need um, the last name for Kenneth? Yeah. Well, I think the theme was well-known skeptics. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people ask the question, do we need a last name? Um, well, not perhaps for all of them, but for the cartoon character, everybody just calls him Kenny. Yeah. 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 Kenny from Kenny, South Park. Kenny from South that's, Park is what we said. Yeah. I yeah. think that's fair. Yeah. I, well, I, number I, five, I knew Kenny was. And what about for Cosby? <laughs> no, I think it was, it was too obvious from the question. Like oh, it was for both names. Like, isn't it? Isn't it Aaron though? Isn't it? Eric. Isn't number four Aaron E R I N N? Number four Erica Cosby. Oh, what is what is Erica? She was one of the uh, speakers she, that Erica skipped Engelhoff. the camp. Erica. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, of course we should know that. All right. Yeah. you should have been paying attention. This was a really, a really good um, category. This yeah, that was very, yeah. very was clever. clever. I like Sneaky. I like that. Not a toilet in sight. <laughs> that was Remember, very clever. What did you decide about last names for, uh, or you know, full names for the rest Coleman of Coleman and Melanie? We Coleman and Melanie. So did anyone get Coleman Hughes or Melanie Stansbury? We we talked about Coleman, but we couldn't remember the last name. So we, I don't think you should give him the last. I don't think you should give him it because nobody's going to give you if you they'd come up with a last name. I mean, okay, yeah. I mean, Melanie is you just can't say Melanie and then expect that's the answer to the cool question like. Yeah, you know, the the first congressional district. Huh. I understand yeah, Kenny, but Brandon, not Melanie and Coleman. Sorry, school. but we but we said Kenny McCormick. Yes, I know. I know. I know. We got. We said we got Kenny that. from South Park. So I'm talking, but I know Kenny's last name. name from South Park. So, so I'm going to go to scores. <laughs> I just don't think it's fair to put just somebody's first. No, name. I, I think I, I I have to agree with Susan on that. That unless it's Kenny. Kenny, that makes sense because he is the only. Yeah. Ca he's the character. Here you guys, Kenny. I'm good. Hey. That's common. <laughs> That's Eric. What are you doing? Eric. I'm going home. Okay, so I'm going to do scores. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Kitty, stop it, Kitty. All right. So <laughs> let's go here. Instead of a flag, we'll fly the bird for Alito. Six. Okay. Let's see where we are here. Question If you're a Starliner, you can grab the ISS by the. Five. Okay. Uh, have you read the Wikipedia on Spinkapedia? <laughs> Spank a pedophile. 
<laughs> got eight. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, we didn't get the Melanie and the Coleman. Uh, was Beethoven a, U, a USPS fan? He did write the Ode to Joy. Seven. And Jolly Green Giant Spiders from Mars. Oh, my. I think we got six. Yeah, I think yeah, we got six. six. Good job. 6.4. That's the kind of score I'm looking for. Good yeah, job. Yeah, it's a now. tough one, Susan. You should like that one. Yeah, well, I'm I like impressed from you know, like how you came up with the names to match the name. I mean, you know, came up with a, some famous person to match the speakers. It was very good. Yeah, yeah. It was very Wikipedia clever. Wikipedia helped. Yeah, Wikipedia helped. Mm -hmm. because, I was going to uh, say, that would take a <laughs> bit of research. You, there's a way of looking on Wikipedia for, for surnames and, and first, first names. names. Yeah. So if you're looking for a Coleman, a famous Coleman, you just type in Coleman. Uh, I think it's called primary name. Huh. Or if you're looking for a famous okay. Robert Palmer. Yeah, Robert Palmer's. <laughs> that would be easy. Look All no right. farther. Uh, can we do a photo? 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 Mm -hmm. And we're going to take a break. Which Ready? is, by the way, why I don't use my full first name. Robert because Palmer. I, I got really tired well of giving it. a credit card to somebody with an every single time. Oh, you're the singer. Uh. <laughs> Might as well face it. Yeah. I think you should yes, go back to your original resistant. name with the, your original spelling of Palmer. Okay. You have to go Everybody to the doctor look at the camera. Shh, shh, shh. Everybody look at the camera. One, two, three. Okay, let me pull that up. When you go to the doctor's, Bob, do you say, doctor, give me the news? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> doctor, doctor. All right. Five I'm minutes sorry, off. Rob, but those jokes are simply irresistible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Good night. See you. Good night. See you, bunch. Right. Of Does anybody see my backdrop? The puppy needs a name. Uh, oh, oh that is so cute. A coworker just, just got a dog. Adorable baby. Doesn't have doesn't have a name yet. He's farmed well, it out. He's farmed it out for names. Well, mm. well Mocha, it's a asking for a name. It's a girl Mocha. that works with me. She brought it into work today, and I put it in my soup mug. Took a picture. How about you call him Soupy? Mocha, I like that. That's good. What? Mocha. Mocha. Mocha was on the list. A gizmo oh, was on the list. A mocha? Already Keep mocha, mocha, gizmo. There's like 30 or 40 hey, names gizmo. on my Facebook already. Pico. Ooh, that might not be on the list. I suggested Ruben, uh, Rambo, nice. Rambo, and wow. um and um and gizmo. I met I like a Ruben. dog recently named Bixby. I thought that was a good dog name. Mm. How about call him hey. Cosby? <laughs> no, she, she uh, used to have. Cosby's a nice name. She used to have a uh, dog yeah, named Princess Leia. She had Princess Leia and um another Star Wars related, and her boyfriend said no more Star Wars, yeah. so she crossed off Chewie and Wookie from the list. Yeah, I you know what I always name my animals. I I always give them real names, like you know like some Bob. some. I like three syllable names that are British. Hamilton. This is Oswald Hamilton. Chesterfield. Oh, this is Chesterfield's Oswald. a nice name. You call him Chet. Well, this is Oswald Chester. Or I can't even think of the name now. But okay, four what? minutes now, you guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> My husband's last name surname is Julian, and oh, which I always thought was a really nice boy's name. So I thought if we had a boy, we should this name is a boy dog. Ju Julian, and then my last name is Bosworth, so I thought Julian Bosworth is a great name. Yeah, it's my middle name. This, but, is, this is Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot the Fourth. Fortunately, we'll never have a son, so we can't use that perfect name. And how? And uh, Carl, what do you name that bug up there? That that cicada. Uh, I have not named the cicada. <laughs> Run to the bathroom. Or, or is that the next category? Name that cicada. Which is <laughs> so far, I've got Winston. This is from Karen, our, our Karen who's not here tonight. Winston Willoughby Kudums McFuzzface. <laughs> Someone like said it. Gus Rue Franklin. My wife said Ziggy, Fred, Walter, Charlie. Peggy said uh, Spike, Brutus, and Killer. So one of my Jewish friends said Lentil. Yeah. 
Oh, when that's my good. Photog- when my photography friend said snapshot. Oh, snapshot. That's adorable. And then Faith said, oh, ah, the old pup in a cup trick. <laughs> my, one of my brother's friends said Rocky, my sister-in-law, Benji. Somebody else agreed with me with Gizmo. My wife said Scruffy. And somebody else said, yeah, I had that dog. Someone said Coco, Magnus, Joel, one of my Billy Joel friends. One of my friends I used to work with called said Noodles because he's already in a cup. I said, I like that Stop one. Avi said Avi Jr. But he doesn't have a sprout coming out of its head. Right. Espresso. That's what Avi said again. And someone said, you found him in your cup, Swanson or Campbell? And someone else said Teddy. Aww. I was at the dog park the other day and someone had named their dog Osito. Mm. Which is Spanish for little bear. Oh. Somebody <laughs> else named their dog Jen Kui, call her Jenny, but Jen Kui because it was a gift to my grandmother who's Polish. It means thank you. Oh. So they changed the dog's name from Jen Kui to Jenny because they couldn't keep saying Jen Kui all the time. We went by theme names. But then when I went to name Trask, somebody said Trash or Trask. It's too much like something Sarah Palin would name one of her kids. <laughs> but for us it was it's this beautiful beautiful river out by where i grew up and so many nice memories on the river how do you spell that t-r-a-s-k i oh, would wow. call him i would call your dog random trash like it was, it was a, <laughs> and you're a coming girl. up with nicknames because i call ozzy ozzy moto sometimes oh, random trash and then yeah. the girl i used to work with her last name was trask and her father took uh, an award-winning photo for the Boston Globe that of the Andrea Doris sinking, and it was it won a prize, photography prize, uh, with a Pulsar or something like that. I forgot what they, whatever, whoever gives the big photography prize uh, for news photography of the boat sinking. He was in a helicopter, and they flew him out over there, and, and it was well, in 1948 or something, or 58, a long time ago. At whenever the, the Andrea eclipse, Doris, whatever it at was. the eclipse, we had some kid. Who I don't know where he came from and I don't know where he went, but his name was Trask too. And so he had his picture taken with my dog. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I named my dog Jackie Chan because he's a Shih Tzu and the Shih Tzus were the popular dogs that uh, that among Chinese nobility. They were made um they were bred in um uh, Nepal, I think. And they were made gifts to uh, Chinese nobility, and the and um, and I wanted to name him after. Uh, 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 there's, there's the guy's Wikipedia page, the photo. Chinese movie. movie star. Oh wow! Yeah, oh, he won wow. an award for that. Yeah. yeah. I'm the one who photographed Catherine. 1957. Trask is a family name for where I came from. It's settler, early settler, and. Yeah, this is Boston area, South Shore. Oh, Jane, did you listen to, did you hear this on NPR tonight? In Eugene, there were 400 families that refused to convert to, or 400 households that refused to uh, convert to smart meters. And they have it down to 12 and 12 people are suing, but they would not switch to smart meters because of the electrical, you know, it's it's harmful kind of electromagnetic ne- ne- magnet. Yes, yes. I, I don't so know what now they're now. I don't know what, I'm sorry. I don't know what a smart meter is. I don't know what you're talking about. It sends back the data for uh electrical use back. Uh, digitally yeah. rather than by, you know, meter uh, readers. So that, meter readers. Meter don't, 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 so, yeah. don't we all? Don't we all have that? Mm, probably now, oh. but not no. everybody. No. No. They're cutting off electricity to the people who refuse to convert to smart meters. How do, how do they even have a choice? Where I live, the, the electric company just shows up and replaces your meter with a new smart meter. Yeah. You didn't have a pay in it. 
Yeah. Well, and in you, fact, they didn't even see... warn you. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a brief power outage at your home for about 15 minutes on this particular day. You yeah, do I know. this a special place. Mm. I, I didn't know that they would ask you. Yeah. I mean, I, I just thought that's the way it is. Well, There's our, 24 our, houses our that, that are us, willing to but, get their electricity cut. But they, they <laughs> said you, you will be scheduled on this day and you have to tell us if you have some issue like, you know, emergency equipment that you need, uh, you know, backup support for or something like that. So I'm kind of surprised, Carl, because they're taking a risk that they're, you know, going to kill somebody essentially that way. Well, yeah, yeah. like uh, a dialysis machine yeah. or something, you know. Yeah. Oxygen. 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 Yeah. 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 They, men the they mentioned nights. the range of days they might show up, but not the specific day. Wow. Well, if I recall, when they converted where I live, it was it's been quite a it's been a long time, so I could be wrong on this. But I think there actually was an option for people to opt out, but there was a substantial fee for that. And I think very, very few people. That opted makes out. more sense. Unless you know that that the magnetic interference from the radio waves or whatever is dangerous and will. So that's the reason. So they don't use any other electronic devices in their house then either oh well the one lady that they interviewed for the radio said she was just struggling to breathe now given the amount of it that she was dealing with already oh god go live in a faraday cage you should tell her that's what the chemtrails are for to fix that problem exactly <laughs> everybody ready Good point carl <laughs> okay so let's go carl you're up don't we have any announcements yeah. She's, she's been okay. away a few weeks and she totally forgets how to run this thing. <laughs> All right, announcement. Um the videos for the New Mexico, I mean for the uh Raleigh Skeptic Camp are starting to come out. Um I think there's going to be a skeptic camp in Eugene and Seattle and Buffalo. Um, anybody got anything else? Susan, were the did the videos turn out okay? Did you get They're a chance up, to watch? They them should yet? be up right now. Thank okay, you very cool. much. I yep. Did it work out it's because really I good. turned? I made sure to oh, disable okay. my second monitor. So did it record correctly? Where it was the gallery view? Yes. The whole time. Did you not watch awesome. it yet, Susan? No, I just uploaded them about an hour before we. Started. Oh, we had a special guest. Do we? We a new UFO expert. I saw that there's a category new abode. Oh, you haven't watched it. Oh, yeah. You gotta watch it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Some lady yeah, with a really strange that, accent. That, yes, yeah. that was good. Well, it was a guy. Was I thought it was a guy. I don't know. I, it was someone with a really strange accent. Oh, I gotta check it out. Yep. So in my in my uh, in my free time while I was in Raleigh, I went around interviewing um, speakers as oh, yeah, well Shep as some attendees and uh, people who are in the conference. And it's a four-part series on the skeptic zone. And the first part was this last episode. Coleman and Jane? No, Coleman and Erica. That's correct. Uh, Jane and Kenny will be on the next one. Yeah, that was terrific. And Adrian ended up interviewing a ton of people in New Mexico. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot to see. I had a really great time. Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> I went all over the place with all kinds of things. The world is a lot of fun. I really had a great time. I'm gonna write it all up someday when I get some time. Someday. I'm working on a Wikipedia page for a book award. I don't know if you ever heard of the Penn Faulkner Award. I actually have heard of that award. I I I'd never heard of it before. Now I'm working on the Wikipedia page. It was a mess. I'm cleaning it all up and putting it back together again. I had no idea. I'm like, wow, there's a lot of famous authors. There's a lot of good books in here. I should be reading. Oh, there's so many good books out there. Gosh, never enough time. To I know, read. and I'm not getting anywhere. And so, cross your fingers for me. I, I sent a list of Psycon speakers that I want to interview for my column. And uh, Barry said he'll forward it to those people and see if they'll do it. And one of them is Brian Cox, and I certainly hope he says hello. yes. I have a meeting with uh, on Zoom with uh, Barry on Tuesday. That should be very interesting. I'm sure flies on the wall will want to hear what we're going to talk about. But, sorry. All right. Who here, by a show of hands, knows who Brian Cox is? 
He's one of my heroes. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. So speaking I know well. two physicists who are professors at Rutgers University, married couple, and the hell, what you've been doing? I mentioned this. I'm going to be interviewing Brian Cox, who I show them the, the Wikipedia page. They have never heard of the guy. I don't understand it. Yeah. A while ago, I asked Susan about him. She didn't know, but now she knows now. Well, oh, I knew who he was, but I don't know. It was your accent or something. <laughs> the, um, the, the book series I'm I'm reading right now, it was kind of weird. Um, the Thursday Murder Club series. So I'm reading the oh, latest I love book. That. And, I love that series. And I, it's, it's hilarious. I love it. Anyway, mm -hmm. the same day I got my postcard with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson and Brian Cox on it, that afternoon, I'm reading a chapter, and they mention Brian Cox in the book. And I was like, that's... <laughs> huh? you what know? do you call it? Thursday Club what? The Thursday Murder Club. It's a series, and I'm reading, I think it's the fourth book that I'm reading. Um, you mentioned Brian Cox. The Last Killer to Die or something. And they were talking about how they went to a show in um, London to see Professor brian cox and i'm like that's just weird because i just got things yeah. <laughs> that was that was pretty that's cool. great one of the first um podcasts i ever subscribed to was infinite monkey cage and i haven't i haven't been listening to it lately because i've been mostly listening to po political shows i had such a crush on him <laughs> he is cute <laughs> he is, he is cute. very cute well he'll okay. be there at Saigon. Technical request here. I just found this out when I tried to make a, uh, a text document for the last round and I right click on my desktop like I always do and it says new and it's text document. There's nothing, they've taken it out of the menu. Somebody with a, a PC do this and see if something's been updated in the OS automatically or something. What it's, version of Windows are you running? I don't I don't know. What It's an automatic update, so whatever they updated it. What do you want to find out if it'll do, Rob? One of the, like you can new folder, new shortcut, new Microsoft Word document. One of them is a new text document, which is now missing. To make yeah, it, I had to find in, another probably. one and make a copy of it, which is bizarre. That's oh, weird. I have some gossip. It works for me. Yeah, it's not really gossip, oh but it looks God. like. Um, I still I, have it too. The, world, the world Skeptic Congress looks like it will be in Germany. I assume in June or uh, summer of 2025. And it will not be in Vegas in 2026. Yep. It will be in Buffalo. Yep. Wait, say that again, Susan. There will not be a Psycon in Vegas in 2026. It will be a. It will be held in Buffalo, New York area, at the headquarters because it's their 50th anniversary. So we will not be going back to Vegas as Psycon until 2027. If there's a Psycon 2027. So, so 2025 is in Europe, 2026 is in New York, now, 2027 is, who knows? Up in the air. But what I'd so, like to do is have a skeptic camp in Vegas in 2025, in the same time of the year that we would have had PsychOn. Because I think that that might be a draw, and I think that might be kind of fun. And Unless you're saving all your money to try and afford to go to Europe, in which case you'd have to not. Well, you would have already gone to Europe, because they, Europe was. Uh, well, then you won't have any money left over for Vegas. <laughs> you won't have any money for Buffalo. <laughs> oh, or Buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can oh, shuffle you... up to Buffalo. You don't have to fly. Wendy, 2025 is Europe. It's going to be Germany. It's a World Congress. Okay. It'll probably be the summer. Buffalo. 2026 is going to be Buffalo. I'm hoping to be able to do skeptic camps, double the amount of skeptic camps we did this year in 2025. We'll see. I'm talking to Barry on Tuesday. And one of them I want to do is since people have kind of got the idea of coming to Vegas anyway in October, let's have a skeptic camp in Vegas in 2025 around the time we would have had Psycon. And I think that might be kind of fun. And I think that that's a good plan. That's a long time from now. We could, a lot of planning we could do. And it could be a two-day event or whatever. I'm okay. ready to help, Susan. Yeah, so Gil, write it down. <laughs> um, Susan, I have I have a Psycon question. When you have speak, uh, I mean, how many people actually attend that thing? 700 About or more. So when there's a when there's a speaker, there's not like multiple speakers speaking in different places at the same time. Only on Thursday, so you can hear everybody. 
you can you hear everybody yeah, Friday, can... Saturday, and Sunday. The only problem is on Thursdays, they do these things called workshops, which will sell out really fast. And those sometimes compete with each other. But right. I, I don't think it is this year. I think we've got them all separated. Other than LilyCon does, I think, overlap with one of the afternoon yeah, workshops. Yeah, but it, it, it's, it's a, it sells out really quick. They're very limited. It's like big circular tables. And yeah, that, that's you, one of the things you know. I love about SciCon, though. The, the main Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's one talk. You don't have to miss anything. You can see mm -hmm. every single talk. Right. All right. Makes the up. And QED and as is, near as, yeah, as near as I could tell, I maybe unless they changed it, it seems to me I got a postcard recently about mm -hmm. it. Yes. But, it is. Um, I did. but the, they don't um they they were not planning to have any kind of like a party or a dinner. Yeah. It's gonna be a banner check. No party. That's <laughs> Well, we all went in, took pictures, and left anyway. <laughs> Sat out there. Oh, it was too loud. Party because yeah. said if anybody's going doing. to this, I'm sorry. If anybody's going to the sphere this time, I missed it last time. So, if anybody think is thinking of going, we're gonna no. we're gonna start a we're gonna start a thread on the um, Facebook page for Psycom when we get really close. There's there is a, a roommate thread for people who are trying to find roommates but it's still too early well we will do something like that caroline right. i bet you'll have a flood of people I, I watched an amazing video just yesterday about the whole technology of this field which i wish i had seen when i was there because i would have appreciated it even more i'll send you a copy and everybody must stay past the sunday papers you must stay for the sunday papers oh, yeah. so do not think of leaving until monday that's just a, a rule okay so <laughs> carl you ready Yes. Oh, and the yeah. Brian Dunning thing is all sold out. And oh, I have one more thing we can I can hint at. So Stephen Hupp and uh, Carl with a K in St. Louis, Missouri, they've come up with this idea that they sold me on, and that is that they want to do a skeptic camp in their area, and then want to do a day trip or two two day trip to Hannibal, which is where um, Mark Twain was from. Mark Twain, yeah. Wouldn't cool. that be fun? Hannibal's pretty cool. Was that your idea, Carl, or was that Steve? Hannibal? Hannibal was Stephen's idea. You should go to Twain, where Hannibal Lecter was born. Skip to camp with your idea. <clears throat> Me? Yeah. Oh no, I didn't. It wasn't my idea at all. Although the idea of calling it "Skip to camp with a K" and put using the K instead of the C <laughs> is my idea. Nice. Oh, that is perfect. <laughs> oh, 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 Carl, Carl, tell him, tell, tell that really quick story. Whenever we went to Illinois. And he introduced me and you. Oh, so Su Su Susan gives a talk to uh, uh, over at the SIU Southern Illinois University Edwardsville, and Stephen Hupp introduces her to to the all the attendees, some of which are his students and other people. Most from, are professors. Yeah, professors from his department and elsewhere. And he's introducing them, and and then he takes time, and and he also mentions me back there taking photos. I go, this is Carl with a K, and that's not just how his name's spelled; that's his actual last name. And I piped in, that's not actually my real last name. He goes, what? <laughs> that's not your real last name? Uh, uh, no. I go, oh, it was so funny. I wish I'd been recording it. It was it was priceless. He's like. <laughs> what i thought it was really unusual that your last name was yeah. with a k whenever your name is carl with a k i thought that was really clever that your parents did that so for anybody on this who hasn't figured it out yet that's not my actual last name it is By now default. i didn't that's know it either By default it's become your yeah, last name. exactly and and he'll take his real last name to the grave yeah, He's in with yeah well, there was, there was one year i went to register when i got up to get my stuff on day one of Psycon, and they couldn't find my stuff because it wasn't under my real name. It was under Carl Withake. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah, it still it was, that way? Have really you just funny. gone to, uh, to it, that? It kind, of, your name? it kind of goes back and forth from year to year. Oh, now. okay. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious, though, but this All is right. even doing that. So, for my trivia round. Yes, you know how Susan is always telling people, hey, you know, pick stuff I know because you're I'm going to be on your team. Yeah. And yeah. yet... Susan may or may not have figured out that every time she visits St. Louis, 
I mentioned numerous things that end up in a trivia round I do following her visit. Yeah, but they're number related or something. And I don't remember St. <laughs> Charles related. So, uh, Susan, I told Susan a lot of stuff about the uh, cicadas that were in St. Louis. Let's see if she actually listened to any of it and remembered any of it. I, 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 I will All find right. out. And now I will mute <laughs> we'll everyone. We'll find out. My So, question number one. How long, in an integer number of years, do periodical cicadas live? There's no plus or minus, but there are two correct answers for the two different lifespans, and I'm talking their total lifespan. Question number two. How long, within an undisclosed range, do most annual cicadas typically live and that's again total lifespan I, I will be impressed if anyone any team gets a 10 on on this round i will be overjoyed and impressed number three how many numbered broods of are there of periodical cicadas i will accept three different answers based on hypothetical versus observed and extent versus extinct but there is an official numbering system of all the different broods of periodical cicadas. All right, number four. Of the two correct answers that you could have chosen in number one, which lifespan has more numbers of broods? Number five. Are broods babies? So is it brood, broods, broods are, are populations. Babies that you have at the same time. That's what a brood. Yeah, exactly. Birds are. That's basically what a brood of cicadas is. Okay. Um, I'm not really understanding the two different lifespans. There are two different lifespans for periodical cicadas. Ones that come so every so many years and other ones that come a different number of every so many years. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, number five. Where do periodical cicadas live in the wild? A, on all continents except for Antarctica. B, only in North and South America. C, only in the Americas, Africa, and Asia. D, only in North America, Africa, and Australia. E, on all continents except Antarctica and Australia. F, only in North America. Or G, only in North America and Australia. And this is a specific species you're talking about. I mean, uh, periodical I mean, cicadas. Period. There are multiple different species that comprise periodical cicadas. But it is something specific because they I, are periodical. They all they always emerge at regular intervals. Oh, okay. Okay. That's there are annual specific. cicadas. Yeah. Which show up. Not Karen, Karen's not here, but I, I seem to be able, want to answer for her. These are perfect questions, Carl. <laughs> Just trying to clarify for my own sake. They're perfect. Just like real cicadas, I am annoyed by these questions. <laughs> <laughs> Number six. Where do annual cicadas live in the wild? Same set of options as the previous question. Okay. A, okay. all continents except Antarctica. B, only North and South America. C, only in the Americas, Africa, and Asia. D, only in North America, Africa, and Australia. E, on all continents except Antarctica and Australia. F, only in North America. Or G, only in North America and Australia. Seven. You got a 50-50 on seven. What are cicadas more adept at? Flying or jumping? Hmm. Eight. Can we define adept? <laughs> Who's a judge? Who or, judges or that? Falling. That's a perfect question. So, rem remotely, remotely skilled at or able to travel any reasonable distance by doing. Or falling. That what count. they put on their business cards, Rob. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's on their resume. The other thing they don't list. <laughs> Number eight. How long do cicadas typically live in their adult form? And there is a range I will accept. Number nine. How loud, in other 
undisclosed range, can cicadas get in decibels? Well, the previous question, how long, what type of units you want there? Minutes, seconds, hours, days, months, years, eons? I want uh, whichever range makes the most sense for how long they typically live in their adult form. Okay. Good question. I mean, frankly, you can use any units you want. As long as it equals what you'll get. Yeah. I, I may have can, to use a calculator if you supply picoseconds. But... Can you use Can you use a base six? Um, oh, as long as you provide a conversion for yourself to score yourself honestly, use any any base and units you want. Kelvin, Fahrenheit. Um, that actually works. <laughs> Not a unit of measurement. <laughs> Oh, it's just a different thing we're measuring. And lastly, number 10, periodical cicadas sometimes emerge early or late, typically by the same number of years. These cicadas are called stragglers. How many years early or late do stragglers typically emerge? I don't remember any of this stuff being discussed other than um, one uh, of these uh, questions. The, the, <laughs> first six, the first six answers were all mentioned while you were riding in the car with me. <laughs> Why didn't you do and we Michael Jackson, the history of Michael Jackson? We Carl was writing the questions and testing them. We right went to go it. see a musical of Michael Jackson. I came home from the from the, the the musical and I sat and read a bunch of stuff about Michael Jackson, his family and his music and his the toaster and all that stuff. Yeah, but the that next question I would have an answer for. The next question she's is just distracting uh <laughs> from the real answer, which is she tunes Carl out in the car. Yeah, is what apparently. She's trying not I was to say. sitting How in the car. How many back. cicadas were in the Jackson five? <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. All right. Okay. Lord. So go go forth and contemplate. Okay. So I've got these in the wrong spot. Do you guys know anything about cicadas? Because I know nothing. A little. No, Early we don't have, have them here. Yeah. Who else is in our team? <clears throat> um, yeah, well, besides Carl. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay, so. <laughs> Deborah, do you know anything about cicadas? Please tell me you know something about. Oh, Wendy, we knows do not about... have cicadas here. Okay, that is what... we're all Californians. Except well, that was confusing me because the a lot of these questions are about where they're located. I'm like, well, they ain't located anywhere around us. Okay, so thank goodness. I know that they that they I know that they come out every 13 years or 15 years. Yeah. Okay, Just I know the two that. different lifespans, right? Right. How long? do cicada periodical so that means they live in the ground right for 15 years yeah they're still alive they're just dormant. so so 15 and 13 probably one of the 13 yeah. is the most obvious one right 13 yeah. years most of it's underground how long do annual cicadas typically live probably one year right they probably come out and mate and they go away yeah okay so one year Okay, we're gonna log to we can do this, you guys. How many, How many numbered, numbered broods? broods? So what did he mean by broods? That was so the, I remember hearing about babies? this when they at the beginning of the season, they have like this is brood number 17 and this is brood number eleven, and you know, but I have no idea how many there actually are. So but that they, means they, how many pregnancy so like in, in the 2024 is the brood year for a particular numbered brood. The next time they come out, I don't know if there's one next year or not, but if there were, it would have a different number because it would be the ones that were 13 or 15 years before next year, right? So 2024. Not understanding at all. Okay, 2024 right now, 13 years ago, 13 minus 20, or 24 minus 13 is what? 2011 yeah so those ones went underground in 2011. 2011 so that's brood number whatever number they gave it say it's brood number 10 right so brood number 10 we had to wait 13 years there they are again they go back down to the ground in 13 years from now 10 will come out again but next year it could be brood number 20 or something i don't know so and I guess it's really bad when the when the two different lifespans coincide. Isn't you know, that what's so going on right now? 
I think so. And that's why they're okay. So how many number broods are there of periodo period um, and periodical? Uh, yeah, periodical I have no cicadas. idea. Three different answers I, I, based on hypothetical versus observed versus extinct. So could there be just two? I think there's more than two. What's the I don't number? think they would number them in the teens if there's only two. Okay, so... But I don't know. I don't really have no idea. 17, 18, 20? Yeah, if I was going to just guess all on my own, I would say 17. But okay, 17 is the answer. Good. It's a nice prime number. Uh -huh. Okay, of the two correct answers in number one, 13 or 15, which, I think, which, which life one? stand has more broods? Uh, that's weird. Well, we only have two, so which one? 13 or 17? Or 15? So I would say probably 13. Okay. Just based on... They get more options. They get more opportunities. Okay. All right. Now, where did the cicadas that are uh, period periodical, peri say it for me? Periodical. Periodical live in the wild. Okay. The only place I'd ever heard of them was in St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have them on the East Coast. They have them all over the place. Okay, so They're not in Canada. I know that. Okay. You don't have them in Canada? in Canada, really? Nowhere no. in Canada? No. Okay. All right. So it's North America. I would say just uh, North America. Have Have we heard of them in Australia? No, I don't think they have. I don't think they have. Them Richard Saunders would have said something. He talks about the birds and and making so much noise when he's trying to record. So if they had cicadas, <laughs> he probably would have mentioned that. So it's not Antarctica, only in North and South America. South America. What do you guys think? Yeah, I don't know. How about Africa? Asia? I don't know. I don't know what's required for their survival. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Well, if they were in if they were in Africa and Asia, somebody'd be eating them. It would be a delicacy. <laughs> so has anybody seen any cooking shows, cooking with cicadas or anything like that? Oh no. Oh no. no. put on a walk I and they say... just go. I would probably say B. Only in only North, and, in South, North America. and South America? Yeah. Sure. Okay. We're logicking these out. We can do this. Yeah. All right. So what's the next one? Where the I annuals? Say, I think uh, I would say the same thing. The same thing, yeah. I yeah. think it would be this. Whichever one is, whatever one is right, I think it's going to be the same. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now this one me. seven. What are cicadas more adept at, flying or jumping? And I saw them like when I got to my hotel, they were like. I don't think they were jumping, or were they? Let me think about that a second. There was a bunch <laughs> on the ground that were all squished from the cars driving over them. Oh, gross. And we went to the zoo, there was none. And that was just a few minutes away. So did they, did they have an explanation as to why they didn't have them at the zoo? No. Mm -mm. Carl said at his house, which I didn't go to, which was right around the corner from my hotel, <laughs> he says they were really loud. I think he said 95 decibels, what he said. Is that a thing? <laughs> oh, you guys are all falling asleep? Come on now. No, yeah, no, I am. <laughs> Stop it. I, I'm sorry. Um, I, I don't, I was looking forward to our game, but I'm just toast. You know, like the whole moving thing is. How about cicadas on your toast? Did you, you didn't better. move again, did you? No, this is the same I'm going, place. Yeah. I'm, it, um, I, um, it's been less than a year and I can't stand this apartment. So oh. I'm moving just a mile away. Oh, okay. And it's just in. Some place with an elevator, she said. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Theater. Yeah. Are they and more adept at flying or jumping? I, I assume jumping. I'm thinking jumping because, because they the, all the legs. ones I've seen videos of were crawling, actually. So it seems like if they could fly really well, they'd be flying around. Yeah. And I did see them flying, but I think it's probably jumping because jumping looks like flying once they're in the air. 
How long do cicadas typically live in their adult form in an undisclosed range? Probably not long. Wait, wait. Well, it sounds like they have a really long childhood. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I or think their adult is just really they mate and they're dead, right? Like a week That's or two. That's what it maybe? sounds like. I would say one year. Well, well underground that long. there for as a baby. because they're like they're living in a place where it gets really cold in the winter. So I, I, I think don't it's think just like live. a week or so. Oh okay. yeah. What do you guys want to say? I, I think one to two weeks. So well, I don't how know many? If, a week. Did you say one week or two weeks? Or, uh, or I don't know. I was thinking, do, do they? They're coming out in, in the spring. So, is it possible they live throughout a, a whole uh, summer? Probably if they're well taken care of. <laughs> they're just being, <laughs> cars are just running into them and they're being stomped on. I don't think there's anything happening. <laughs> I think they come out to mate and then they mate and that's it. And they lay eggs or do whatever it is they do and then they die. Yeah. And then the like babies salmon, live right? under the ground. So yeah. we want a month, a week, three months. I, 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 don't, think it's, I don't think it's more than two weeks. Okay. So say know. two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How uh -oh. loud? Yeah. Now, 95 decibels sounds say, right. I think he said 95 at his house. I think that sounds right. So should we say 100? Because hmm. it's saying he's the loudest. He's, undis he's an undisclosed range. So he's probably going to wait till everybody says what, oh, what okay, it is. Okay, let's say 95. Then, yeah. And then. And, okay, this last one, we could do it, guys. Hold in. So the ones that are early or late. Typically by the same number of years. So if you're expecting brood number 10 to come out this year and it doesn't, then they're all going to show up next year or the year after or something. So, I mean, they're going to be together, whatever it is. So you're not going to have like some come out this year or the rest of them next year, probably. Well, we have a, <clears throat> well, we have a 13 and a 15 year. So what is it two? Then it would be two years. How How late? Late? No, 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 like, like emerge. So we have to say the number of years plus whether it's early or late. No, that'd be two answers. Now, how many years early or late? So do they are they two. a year or two or three early or late? So like what what's the kind of like there's probably some condition that causes that, like really cold winter, or they didn't get the they had like a bad, they didn't have enough food when they first came out the last time, or there was probably some factor that in that affected all of them, so it would be the same. So Michael Jackson's father was called Joseph, and they all they called him Joseph. <laughs> Yeah, the Kennedys. You're the one who's always saying you want Joseph people to take really hard rounds, Susan. How's everybody else doing? Uh, they're finding it a, re a relatively hard round. Good. <laughs> and they would have had a hard round with Michael Jackson. So I think it's two years. Yeah, that sounds fine to me. Okay, okay we did it. We have answers for everything. <laughs> and they were logic out. And then we Number, number out. six. I don't think number six is only in North and South America. I think it's only in North America. Okay. Yeah. Well, so that'd be, you... that'd be D. Right? No, because that's Africa and Australia too. Oh. Uh, F is only North America. Okay. I'm looking at a different spreadsheet. He's got it nice and neat on the screen. I should actually be looking at that. <laughs> okay, so we're, so we're done. Sort of. <laughs> did you, are, you did done, you, are you done with confidence or done with just picking yeah, it? We got it. We got oh, it. Good. We have we Carl, have no confidence. Carl, but... did you watch the? I, I was I had dinner with um Karen last night, and I was she wanted to hear about the trip, and I was telling her about the toaster with Michael Jackson. She goes, "What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, and what I are said, you talking you about? Watch it. There's a toaster. Oh my." <laughs> God, you guys, it's amazing. Carl and I saw them do it on the stage, right? Yeah. That was amazing. Uh, what do they do they with the toaster? toaster? It's basically this thing on the stage that 
Michael Jackson or in this case, the performer playing Michael Jackson is inside of and they get shot up out out of the thing to shoot up into the air and then land on their feet. It was and then they stand he stands in that pose and looks at everybody. It was all through the whole thing they they were going, I want to I want to be shot out of like a toaster. So the, the, like, the we idea can't would be it. We, we'd have to you, invent you have it. an empty That's... stage and all of a sudden Michael Jackson just shoots up out of the stage and then boom like a it was like a, well a toaster, done shooting well up out done. of a toaster. But Karen had never heard of that. I wonder if anybody else has heard of that. I'll have to ask. Yeah, I've never heard of it well, before was, that. Is it um, Michael Jackson Cirque du Soleil? It or was called it MJ. Go. It was, I think, on Broadway. But we went on opening night in um, this amazing theater in St. Louis. The Fox Stephen Theater. Stephen Hupp and his wife and Carl and I went. Really well, incredibly good. I um I went with five or six other people to go see the Michael Jackson Cirque du Soleil in, um, in Las Vegas last year. Mm -hmm. I bought a block of tickets. Oh, that's right. You did. Was there a toaster involved? No, to I don't remember a toaster. A giant toaster. My memory is very selective. It was, it was him <laughs> jumping out of this thing, like being popped out like a giant. So he was, toast. he was like a, he was like a pop tart. Yeah, it was, it was, and all, like I said, we're watching this musical going, what the hell is he talking about? This makes no sense. <laughs> and they invented it and he did it. And then I went on YouTube and I watched a compilation of it. He did it for years. It was like, and part of, part of all of his shows. And I thought, thought I thought I could find the program, but I can't find it. Oh, I had, I scanned mine. I have the, I have the, is he jumping out of a toaster on the program cover? All right, let's check to see if other people are ready to be put out of their mercy. Mercy. <laughs> oh, oh I was going to tell my team um, this will have to be my last round. So. Oh. oh. Yeah, sorry. Michael Jackson well, tester. I hope you feel better, Vincent. I yeah, hope I do. I think you're not feeling well. Yeah. Uh, it's just the nature of getting covid i guess you have covid again no i don't have covid again it's i probably have long covid oh no i got covid and then it went away but now i become sick a lot so mm. so i had covid back in 21 or 22 somewhere around there i think it was 21 no, it was 22. I remember. It was my 50th birthday. You can't then, possibly 50? be 50. Are you yeah, 50? I'm 52. You look so young. Jeez, I, I would I'm, never have thought you were that that old. Yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty old. Oh, yeah, remember right. what you told don't us that say that because I'm, I'm like... 62. So don't, I don't want to hear you say 52 is old. That ain't no. old. You. I know no, I'm, I'm I'm 72. No. I don't want to hear it either. <laughs> no. I know I am I am 52. I don't think I've ever well, known how old you were. Actually, I will be in July. Not quite there yet. Yeah, <laughs> but, what is your birthday, Deborah? July. July? Something. July 15? 21st. Oh, okay. My birthday is July 3rd, and Brad's birthday was July 4th, and my daughter is July 5th. <laughs> so we, wow. had, we had all our birthdays together for a long time oh my gosh we have a lot of may birthdays in our kind of our bigger larger family and then there's some october people too yeah there's a bunch okay. of march people in my family so mm -hmm. wendy if you decide to come to calgary for the calgary stampede i i i i can't take you but um probably adrian could probably take you you're going to the Calgary Stampede? Oh, I we it's I want to go uh, visit up there very much. Yeah, we're gonna do Skeppy Camps in the future. Not not until twenty twenty five though. Well, thank you, Vincent. I hope you feel better. I I uh, I don't know. I can stay. I can stay until we do the. Um, yeah, you got to do the scores because you kept track. Do the <laughs> scores because I'm keeping track. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. I will stay for the scores. Okay, okay. thank you. Yeah. 
86 seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've never been up there either, Wendy. Uh, we'll I, have to have a, we'll have to have some reason to make sure we go up and do something up there. I, I was hoping okay. Bill would be here tonight so that some team could get 10 out of 10 in this round. Because I assume oh. Bill would know. <laughs> you Bill assume would know Bill his, would know He would know his, uh, his Why would you cicadas? think he would know this? He knows everything. Because Bill knows almost everything. And uh, <laughs> my guess would Bill Bill would know it probably at least eight of these. Would be my yeah. fairly confident. You don't know. We might have 10. I don't think so. No. Except you know, I, I can see your answers there. So you know that I know whether or not you have 10. <laughs> we might have put up a fakey thing for you. Okay. Yeah. That That is I, a remote possibility. Yeah, yeah I, I think know. it's fine. A low probability, too. Unlikely. Oh, whatever. I don't ever. I think we did well, considering it wasn't Michael Jackson, the history of Michael Jackson, like it should have been. <laughs> there I didn't about know there was going to be a test. Some kind of animal that shouldn't even exist. Is this, is it an animal? I've, or is it a... I've heard about uh, cicadas in the United States and how they um cover windshields and stuff like that it's, yeah they were ever anyways i was gonna say it's uh i've heard about cicadas in the united states and uh it's really scary they have some videos on them they're not scary okay. they're just scary? ugly scary scary oh it's scary well are you watching I... the sci-fi movie like them when they're giant cicadas they or can something? Drive you <laughs> no funny. canadians don't like bugs that are big okay <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. don't like them wait, wait this is the home of limit. your national so bird them, is the horse fly no, them it's the mosquito <laughs> 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 beginning of the end with grasshoppers could could you imagine um irradiated cicadas from fallout carl they'd be huge. oh my gosh <laughs> they'd be worse than rad scorpions <laughs> exactly the horse flies are really hard to kill because they're so damn big you swat yep. them and they survive it's like god they swat i got, you I got two words for you or Three, depending you count the come electric fly swatter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One of the greatest inventions of modern civilization. Yeah, that mm-hmm. would electric not fly be a swatter. smart thing to use oh. in a swimming pool, Carl. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So, it's so not enough electricity. Carl's ready to get the answers, but I have right. a question before he does. Mm-hmm. Has anybody besides the people I was just talking to about this heard of Michael Jackson? Using something called a toaster like thing on stage. Oh, no. gosh. No. No. You just say, has anyone heard of Michael Jackson's toaster? No. <laughs> Electric fly swatter. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just, That's I, awesome. But it wasn't just me and, and Carl. Okay. Is it electric Carl. or is it battery powered? It's battery. Yes, to both okay. of those questions. The toaster is electric. Yeah. Got that one. You definitely don't want a double A battery of this either. All right, lifespans of periodical cicadas are thirteen or seventeen yeah. years. Woo-hoo. Okay. Oh, we got, got that count. Right. That's a really got- long time for an insect. Yeah, well, it. If you, good place to start is Wikipedia, and there's a really good article on there, and it explains the significance of those two particular prime numbers being used. In such a way to avoid any predator being able to synchronize its lifespan yep. to take advantage of them. Oh, is that why? That makes sense. Yeah. Yep. I remember that part, Carl. There must be a god. <laughs> a god must have made it. Okay. Up. Annual cicadas typically live two to five years. They are only annual in the sense that since annual cicadas are not synchronized, some will emerge every year somewhere. But oh. they do the individual mis- cicada for an annual will take two to five years before it emerges okay so for the number of broods we'll see if anyone got a correct answer and if not we'll we'll see if we need to give a little fudge range for people acceptable answers are 15 17 and 30 there are a total of 30 numbered broods but only 17 including two now extinct broods have been observed the remaining 13 numbered broods are hypothetical by the guy who created the brood numbering system. Wow, I didn't understand the question and I we even left understand the answer. <laughs> we did. Hmm? Deborah said 17, right, Deborah? Well, there you go. 
Yes, she was correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. got it. All right. There are more 17-year broods than there are 13-year broods. There's a total of 13 known 17-year broods, including the one that's now extinct, and four known 13-year broods, including the one that's now extinct. So what's the right yeah. answer? So we just put 13. Is that okay? That answer equals 17 years. Okay. You put 13. We got that wrong. Five. F. Periodical cicadas exist only in the eastern United States, or eastern half of the United States, uh, and therefore are exclusive to North America. Shoot. So, so the answer is F. Okay. Yes. See, that, that's that's my excuse for being oh, terrible at this category. Yes. California. However, annual cicadas A can be found in the wild on all continents except for Antarctica. Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Well, Antarctica should get them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too cold. Too cold. Seven flying. Oh my god, I can't believe jumpers and they are better on. at flying. We had a 50-50 chance that we got oh. them. <laughs> Jesus. You got it wrong. Number eight. In their adult form, cicadas live about four to six weeks. Oh, wow. They spend oh, all those years yeah. underground. They emerge for four to six weeks to have sex, reproduce, and die. For four and make weeks, a lot of noise. Right? Yeah, put up with those guys. Yeah, put up with them four weeks. Yeah. Yeah. How much noise? 100 to 120 oh, decibels. Oh, my God, you guys. We should have gone with hey. 100. Oh, and well. That range is basically the range of authoritative answers I found from cicada experts claiming anything from 100 is as loud as they get to 120 is as loud as they get. We said 98. Hey. Oh, that's Because close. that's what you said. I think you made a post about it being 98. I, I, I said somebody I knew in my Facebook feed recorded them at that level okay well we said 98 we should i said maybe we should say 100 <laughs> and finally uh i didn't expect anyone to know this but it's an interesting piece of trivia four years stragglers with a 17 year mm. life cycle typically emerge four years early those with a 13 year cycle typically emerge four years late meaning that periodical cicadas can sometimes shift between the 13 and 17 year lifespan Okay, let's see if we've got a new Punch oh. and Judy here. And new lighthouses. Uh, before we do the scores, if if they don't come out at the time when they're supposed to come out, like if they're four years late, how do they know which ones they are? Well, interesting you ask because I was just about to share something. Oh, here is a map of where all the various broods emerge. And so if you live in an area that oh. only has brood, say, 19 in existence, and they something emerges four years when you don't expect them, you go, well, these yeah, have to be at, brood 19 because that's the only so, ones that exist here. For the colorblind people, me, which ones are in New Jersey? I can't tell the color. Uh, let's see. Red. Brood Red two. Ones. There's just one. Two. 2030. The 2030 they're coming out next? Yep. But they can, so like we we have brewed uh, 14 or 15, whichever one it is, the 13, and they actually, we had some come out a, a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And they know this because why? How do you know what brood it is? Do they look at them and they... They've probably uh, done genetic... They do, with them? they do all sorts of studying and genetic analysis and... Like there's bodies everywhere, Susan. I ran over like dead ones this weekend. Yeah, they've been, they've been, they've been tagged. They were all over my, my all over the place. <laughs> well, wow, that would be tagged. tough. Thing to That'd do. be a fun job. Yeah. They tag butterflies, so why not? Yeah, yeah, you right. Know? I've tagged. But how how far do they go after when when they're alive? You know, and and an adult. How how far do the adult ones go? I mean, how far do they physically travel? Well, there's only yeah, near, to the nearest weeks. windshield. Not not <laughs> terribly far, like a uh, mile. I, I I oh probably no not even not even hundreds that. of yards. Yeah, hundreds yeah. of yards. It's, my parents had them in their neighborhood, and they're like thirty minutes away from us, about twenty eight miles. And apparently, the brood that we may have here decided it wasn't part of their cycle to to come out. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, wow. That would drive me nuts. Yeah. It's like white noise after a while. Yeah, I remember dri like driving that. down 78 Savannah with the window syndrome. shut and the radio going, and all I could hear was cicadas. My my <laughs> parents' dog refused to go outside to go to the bathroom during the whole time this was going on. That <laughs> poor thing. You need a litter box for your dog. That's just wrong. <laughs> So you think it's about the same as being just shy of standing three feet from a chainsaw. Is it really well, insects or is it Russian secret really weapon? I think it's, right? it's a it's a cicada syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> right. I even microwaves at you. What in the cat. world are they doing out there? <laughs> Carl, I was telling the story in in uh, my breakout room about uh -huh. the the first time I went to your house after the cicadas emerged, and I turned off my car, and I'm like, "Why is my car hissing now that it's off? What's going on?" And then I open the door, and I'm like, "Holy crap! Those cicadas are loud!" Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Like, so my kids and I we ran into Carl's house because it was oh. uncomfortable for D our ears during the peak, just a few days before Susan mm. came to St. Louis. I would not go out uh, without actual hearing protection on it was so loud wow that's i crazy. was gonna record it and i kept saying oh, i'll find it where it's really loud and show like a video but it was only at the it was only at my hotel whenever carl was dropping me off or picking me up i didn't hear it when i was inside the hotel but it was loud but not as loud as that but, it was, so like, susan it, how many of hear those them did when you driving remember? on the interstate how many answers did you know we got some great answers. But they're not the <laughs> or were only. they correct answers? But we were no. thinking it through. We were close. I mean, like we did 98 decibels instead of 100. So we got close. We're not, we are paying attention to some. All right. So scores. So let's see. Karen is so excited to be here at this moment that it's over the cicadas. Okay. So instead of a flag, we'll fly the bird for a Lido. Three. All right, that might be the high score. If you're a Starliner, you can grab the ISS by the oh, six. Six. Oh, well, nice. that is good. That's because ben, I was listening uh, ben, to some of it, Carl. <laughs> ben was on the team because he's there in Cicada territory. There, Jolly Green Giant Spiders from Mars. We only got two. Oh, uh, that was the team I was on. <laughs> that was pretty good. All right. Have you read the Wikipedia on Espancopedia? Oh, Susan, you got to say it again. Espancopedia. Five. That's good. All right. Was Beethoven a UPS, USPS fan? He did write the Oded Joy. Three. So it's not quite a, a it's not quite a, a Pinch of Judy or a Lighthouses. We thought it was good. It was, Ooh. yeah. We no were. problem. No problem. It was a team effort. I need oh, light and fluffy okay. stats. <laughs> we Which had an be? experiencer and a biologist and somebody in another country to say whether they had cicadas. Yeah. It was All right, Alan. Effort. What do you got that's going to chop cicadas? Unfortunately, I have to go. Um, Bye, Vincent. Oh, take care. Good night, Vincent. Bye, Vincent. Take care of yourself. Take care. Have a little better. Feel better. Bye bye. Good night, Vincent. Um, Alan, you're up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, am I on speaker here? Can you no, hear me? No, we can't hear you. No, we can't hear you. We can hear you. Can hear you. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, hopefully, I won't totally screw this up. I expect high scores. All okay. right. Uh, oh, so, that's the. No, 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 really, really, all no. All okay. So here we you go. You might have given us all zeros, stress, Alan. Stress, stress. Okay. So my 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 topic <laughs> is. Okay. No, it's not. I just I put it there just for Janine. For Janine. Okay. Here we go. So this is. Uh, <laughs> All right, okay, I got that one down. Yeah, all right. So what happened? I oh hang on a second. Why I have it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Um okay, let's try this again. Let me get rid of this. Um and let's do this. Okay, so these are cities where I have performed in the past. Okay, so here we go. And I'll try and, get, and not mess up the numbers here. 
Okay, so what's um, the title of this? The title is, is Did I not send it? I didn't send it. Did you I? did not. Okay. Did you get uh, it now? I, yeah. Got it. All yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. Um all right. So copy. Your brother has a a manager. Definitely. If he's been paying attention. Oh, okay. The one I the one may or may not be there. Let me let me know if the number is there. Okay, so the number one is George Bernard Shaw makes me think about this small Ontario town that falls not too far from New York. All right. Did the one and the one came up? Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah. Like, okay. like you planned Didn't it when then. I copied it, but it did. It's there. funny, but I it won't copy it for me. Oh, they're all going to be one, though. Uh, well, I, I may have to. We'll see what happens when I. Uh, um, when you post, too. OK, sorry, that's copy. And that's. Uh, no, you're right. It doesn't. So let me mark. I got to put the number in just before I forget here. OK, so this is. All right. This capital is about a three hour drive from Cowtown with no mountain view. All right. And then let's do this. All right. Let me copy it. Okay. Uh, okay, hang on. What, what number are we on that is three. one? This is three. Okay. Uh, known for a very rich chocolate tort, you can waltz into most any cafe in the city for a slice. Paste it out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Sorry. Okay. Got okay, it there? There we go. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Let's do this. And let's do this. This, this, and this, and what number are I on? Th uh, four? four. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Wasn't really that windy. <laughs> All right. Baha'i get their exercise climbing the mountain to their temple in this Mediterranean city. Oh. Paste it out. Okay. Okay. Days as the center of the free world may be numbered. interesting sometimes a, a number one comes up and other times they don't so um it's really weird okay uh the city does not have the world's tallest free stranding freestanding structure and will likely never win the cup again Had to get permission from Charlie to get in and out of this town. The name must be exact. Let's 
This is mine. Okay. Huh. No, its famous sports team's logo does not mean center heist. I can only think of one person in this group that's going to get this. I can think of two. <laughs> okay. All right. And... Um... And this is 10, right? Okay. Uh, I didn't actually play there, but stayed five days and did run out concerts in nearby cities. It had a great view, it had great views of the French Alps across the lake, but we missed the jazz. And there you have it. Um, hmm. That's it. Okay. Sinister rooms. It's nine o'clock. <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, now, that's uh, nice. Uh, so how can I? How Thank do I do. get to move? How do I get to move around here? You have your. You should be uh, have your co-host permissions. Where Where does you have it to go to more? And then more, open the chat. More and more and more. We'll open the breakout rooms for all of us. Uh, breakout rooms. And then you can just join and leave the room as you choose. Ah, mm -hmm. look at that. Just yep. be sure to end up in the more room before you close the rooms or you're stuck in the wrong room. I no, you're know. fine because everybody has permissions. So you should be fine. Oh, I got to put Karen in a room. Karen is in room five. Thank you. Oh, I gotta go to my room. Well, what's oh. then you're muted. Yep. Well, I hope you guys know these. Well, Windy Some City of. is Chicago, so yeah. that one wasn't too hard. Yeah. Four was DC. And six should be Washington, DC, right? Oh, that makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Um, yep. Number five is Haifa. Is what? Haifa. H-A-I-F-A. Haifa. Haifa in Israel. That's where the Baha'i Temple is. Did you spell it? H-A-I-F-A, -A, you said, right? Yep. Okay. Yep, that's Haifa. Hmm. Let's see. The world's tallest freestanding structure. I thought that was Abu Dhabi. But I don't know now. Well, we'll likely never again win the cup. So are we talking the Stanley Cup? But where was the world, world's tallest free standing? I mean, Abu Dhabi had the uh, tallest building in the world. But did they win the cup? Or are we talking the World Cup soccer? <clears throat> and not the Stanley Cup. I was thinking the Stanley Cup too, but but, but it's, it says structure, not building. Some of these um, some of these TV towers in Eastern Europe are extremely high, so I don't know if the TV towers are higher than. Uh, what about Auckland? Burj Khalif. Where? For which Auckland. question? For which question? Number seven. seven. Oh, what was the what? What did you think? I, I, the only reason I suggested Auckland was because of the cup. Oh, Auckland? Oh, Didn't yeah, see any win? <clears throat> and the only thing I can think of is that pointy thing in Auckland. As it says, we'll likely never again win the cup. That means yep, they won it once. That's what it says. They At won least. one. That's why I was. Oh, maybe they're talking about the America's Cup, the sailing. Yeah, that's what and I was Auckland, thinking. the America's Cup. Why would Auckland have an American Cup? Auckland's no, no, that's the sailing. It's a sailing. Oh, the yeah, sailing, sailing one. Sailing one. 
Yeah, when our visiting scientist from New Zealand was clued in. Well, what is, again, <laughs> I would really like a definition on freestanding structure. Is That's that different true. from Auckland a has building? something tall, but not not like I don't know. Yeah. It's not super super tall. It's like yeah. <laughs> and I don't know freestanding structure. Like they have like a yeah. like a tower like they have in Seattle, kind of like a yeah, it's yeah. taller, I think. Yeah, but it's not. This doesn't like it all depends upon what we're speaking of because isn't like. The arch is the tallest monument, right? I thought, like, but it's obviously there's lots of things taller than that. But if we're talking monument, there's any structure. Well, you put Auckland temporarily at least. You always change it's it. A it's a choice. Has he been okay? Yeah. Has he been to Auckland? Does anybody ever heard him say he's been to New Zealand? I don't know. We're, we. <laughs> and what's the structure there? It's like a tower, like like the Seattle Tower, like the Space Needle. Yeah, like the Space Needle. I don't think it's that particularly high. <laughs> and this is how do you spell what it? About, uh, what about what about A U C K? A U K. And then land. Yeah. Okay. Oh well. Okay. Number so, eight. Uh huh. Oh, do you know number two? Of, well, I think I think it was Checkpoint Charlie in Berlin. Oh, where you used to get permission to leave. Oh. Well, what's the name of the town? Well, West Berlin. See, West Berlin to leave West Berlin. It's, it it doesn't, it yeah. doesn't exist. Anymore. Oh, is that and why? Maybe he, that's why. He must be exact. West. <laughs> but, but, we, but we don't know. That's before the wall collapsed. I don't know when he went to. Um, that makes yeah. sense. He went to West I, Germany. I think that's really good. And that's why he went west, west Berlin. and not right. just Berlin. It has to be exact, because if it was just Berlin, it would be bad, right? So we right. want West Berlin? Yes. Yep. yep. Okay. That's how we, that, really that's again, but that's before Which, 1980. So. Its famous sports team logo does not mean center heist. I don't get that. He said only his brother would, would get it. Well, so that's not nice. With, is that like a, <laughs> is it a reference Montreal. to? Um, to hockey. Yeah, ice hockey. Um, I see. I think we should come back to that. That's why it makes me think that <laughs> win the cup here could also mean Stanley Cup, not like World Cup. Got it. Yeah. Because he's a big hockey fan, so. Oh, good point. That you're right. Um. Yeah. yeah. Where in the Swiss Alps uh, <clears throat> would be central? But miss the jazz. Hey, now the word jazz is capitalized, and I thought that was odd. As if it's like a personal name. Like, uh, <laughs> isn't there a isn't there a a a team of some sort, like a sportsy team that plays is called the Jazz? Like is that the Utah something? Utah Jazz? That's the Utah yeah, Jazz. This is views of the Swiss Alps. Oh, this has Alps. to be in Europe. Yes. Um, view the French Alps across the, which which lake? Number one, Lake Geneva. Maybe Geneva. Okay. And so, what would be a central town that he could have gone out to? <laughs> Great views of. Well, Geneva, doesn't Geneva have a view of the Alps? Could be. So what are the lakes are near the Alps, that area? Um, let's see. There's, oh, where do we go? Let's see. Um, Lugano, Lake Lugano, Lucerne. That's all Swiss. But Geneva... Isn't Geneva? But where's the of, what's the jazz connection there? Maybe he just missed them. Maybe the they jazz. were back in the U.S. that he just missed them. Let's go with the uh, city near the with views of the Swiss Alps by lake. Geneva sounds uh, good. Yeah, I'll give it a Geneva. Um, Lugano, but that's too far east. Okay. 
Geneva. I like that. Well, we'll try. Number one, an Ontario t- Ontario town. Could that be Niagara Falls? Yeah, that's very close to New York. Not too far from New York. And is and I, Niagara I Falls is an there. actual town? Not just yeah. the... Uh, yeah, what's the name of the town where on the on the Canadian side? Niagara uh, Falls. Niagara Falls. I think it's that's just the name Niagara of the town Falls. in Ontario. There's here. also Hamilton. Hamilton is right there also, but Niagara Falls. I think it's just, it's called Niagara Falls, right? I think so. Oh. This capital is about a three hour drive from Cowtown. Where the on earth is Cowtown? Yeah. I've heard of that. Um, is it, is it St. Louis? No, I've never heard. Oh, of that. that's a good point. Cowtown? Yeah, that's where they brought all the bring all the beef in. Yeah, well, Chicago was was famous for that, but wasn't St. Louis also? Mm-hmm. Oh, I've never heard of it referred to Cowtown, but uh, yeah, that doesn't mean that. that isn't the answer. Oh, Missouri, let's see. Chicago, <clears throat> St. Louis. Um, because if the that? world's ta- if this was world's tallest monument, and it was speaking of the arch, uh, this could be St. Louis because of the never again win the Stanley Cup. Because he doesn't want the Blues to win the Stanley Cup again. Uh, but it's world's tallest freestanding structure. So I don't know. Yeah. Could the I'm Arch sure that the... Auckland is wrong. Yeah. You don't think it's... it could be, could it be St. Louis? It is very tall and it is freestanding. Yeah, it is. And St. Louis wouldn't be a far drive for him. No. no. But okay, if that's the case, I, I, I don't know about this wording because freestanding structure is not Okay, what about what if, about if a freestanding free... structure is a building that's there's tons of stuff taller than the art? <clears throat> yeah, but does it have it doesn't want it to win the t- well, wait, does not have the world's tallest freestanding building? It says, okay, so, not. The cup, I think we are talking about soccer, right? Okay, and three is the other or yeah three we have a two even... and three we need or were you saying two should be oh we got st louis st louis and three i have no idea um uh, maybe well so maybe like vienna? vienna i think yeah i think that makes sense oh, good it says waltz vienna yeah vienna <clears throat> yep yep that's good Okay, okay seven. Two. I didn't have something for seven. Oh, we have Auckland, which okay, I number think number two is nine. probably wrong, right? Nine. Yeah, that's, that's a tough one. Capital is which yeah. One? We need this nine to the center heist. It's about a three-hour drive from Cowtown. So name capitals with no mountains. Well, yeah, because St. Louis isn't a capital. <laughs> it's the capital of Missouri. Independence. Jefferson City. Oh, Jefferson. Okay. Oh. So um, what is a capital that has to do with cows, like in Texas, Houston? Is that the ta- capital? No Mountain View. Is the capital is Texas, Dallas? Oh, that's the that, Houston. Oh. Jamie, Jamie, were you about to say it? Can you Jamie, text that's, Ben? That's the answer to to um. Ben was keeping score, right? Yeah. Just text. Yeah, we got cut off. So if you message me directly, I can. Put it in. He got it right as he, <laughs> right as we left. I said, "Oh, and he started to say it, and we were gone." Yeah. Okay, Alan. What do you got for us? This is clever. Um. Okay. Uh. Some of the answers are really kind of interesting. Um. All right. <clears throat> so hang on. So I got to got to get this. Um. When did you play music, Al? Yeah. Really. <laughs> but you were a bass player. All right, hang on. Ooh. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm used to this. Are you sending me something, Jamie, or no? Okay. Oh. So, um, um, number one, um, it is not. Uh, I, I'm not going to bother with the numbers. You'll figure it out. Um, 
Okay, number one is not Niagara Falls. Oh. Oh. It is, in fact, upon a Niagara pond. on the Lake. The oh. uh, Shaw Festival is at Niagara on the it's Lake. Niagara it's about, 40, it's about 40 sure. minutes from, uh, it's about 40 minutes from, um, or half an hour or so from Niagara Falls. Are you sure it wasn't well, Stratford? Yeah. No, no, I forgot about no, Niagara. No, Stratford yeah. is Stratford. <laughs> Fortuitously, I thought there was only one Niagara, and I only wrote Niagara. So is that not good enough? Nope. <laughs> well, oh, okay. right. The answer. Oh, Niagara. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't send it. Any. All right. Uh, well, there's the next Niagara one. And I was counting on some of the guys who left to be around for this one. Um, the answer for number two is, in fact, is in fact. Edmonton. My it's hometown. Oh, where I'm at right Cow now. Cowtown. Cowtown is the nickname that nickname oh. for uh Calgary. So oh. we had that. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. So um mm -hmm. Kat, did you get that one? <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. You betcha. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you ever okay. play did you ever play Philadelphia, Alan? Went to school. Uh, what baseball or what? Well, I went to school in Philadelphia. So, yes, I did. But I went to school in Philadelphia, too. No, yeah, because there's a cow town in New Jersey. And it's about a three-hour ride from Philly. So, if that if that's correct, then we have to take that. Uh, well, no, I don't like it. So, too bad. Okay. Not much of a man on you there, either. <laughs> I think there's uh, oh, lots shit. of cow uh, towns. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's Let's correct. There is no mountains in near Philadelphia. So, that would be exactly correct. Well, no, the Poconos are not too far away. You but can't see there's no there. mountain view. You cannot see them from Philly. But did he That's play true. there? That's the key. Well, okay. well, I mean, you could say all right. You could say uh, Omaha, number, Nebraska too. Uh, okay, I screwed my numbers up here. But number well, three, lots of cow towns. He wanted a no, specific cow town. So there. No, number three is Vienna. 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 Hey, a point. Vienna. And it's a. Hey. Do you know what? The, do you know hey. what the pastry? What is the pastry? Soccer tort. Soccer tart, and it's horrible. But okay, but I thought you know, it's called like, football tart in Europe. It's well, soccer. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's the it's the tort equivalent of of the uh, Blues Brothers. Okay, so, oh, yeah. so it's really really good. And Alan is bad at deciding. Yeah, yes, Alan doesn't agreed. Know what you're about. But the okay, um, I I suspect that um, that everybody got the next one. <laughs> Chicago, uh, not, not too not too hard to think about. So. There you go. That's Chicago. Oh, two Chicago. points. We're on a roll now. We got traction. <laughs> All right. And I know at least a, a couple of people got uh, the next one. Mm -hmm. um, uh, do, do, do. That was a that was a that was a hard one. Well, it's a, it's it's hard if you don't know it. It's easy if you know it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard and to guess. Is, Let's put it that, that way. That is Haifa. Haifa. Oh, or, or, right. Help me if you actually yeah. listen, you you actually listen to up. Alan when he tells stories. The Baha'i <laughs> Temple oh, is up uh, is up the uh, up on Mount Carmel, overlooking we got it. the story Good again. Job, Ron. All right, Jamie and knew it. That, Ron, did you there. know that? Did you get that one, Ronnie? Yeah, we got that right. Yeah, because we have family down at the bottom. Okay. Yep. Uh, <laughs> the next one. Interesting that they, I th I really thought everybody would get this, and I, I was incorrect. Um, uh, okay, let's. <laughs> Yay. Washington, D.C. Yeah. Not New York. Uh, I mean, New that. York likes to think they're the center of the world for everything. But uh, the that, free was world... so that one was okay. so depressing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, All right. The center of the free world, maybe. OK, <laughs> this one. OK, again, uh, interesting who got it and who didn't. Um, do, do, do. This one is Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. Toronto. 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 The, uh, for the longest time, their big claim to fame there was the CN Tower, was the mm -hmm. tallest freestanding. Uh, also, uh, a couple of you guys were looking, I think, Jamie, or one of the guys, it's not, it was, it's not the tall, it doesn't have the tallest freestanding building in or mm -hmm. edifice in, uh, in the world, but it was at one time. And forget it about ever seeing the Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup. It's not going to happen in our lifetimes. Okay. And uh, I think a bunch of you guys figured this one out. Um, doo -doo -doo. 
and uh, the logic uh, that some of you guys used was quite right. East Berlin. Oh, East Berlin. yeah, East, East Berlin. Oh, we said West Berlin. He said Wait. West Berlin. No, a no, but one specifically, I got Alan story. Has, uh, because it knows, specifically, oh, no, so because, can you tell us the number of the question? Because I'm not sure where you are at this point. I'm, at, I'm sorry, Nine, it's number eight. eight. It's number eight. eight. That, that was, was number eight. eight. Sorry, yeah. I, East Berlin's number eight. Seven was number eight. Charlie. Charlie to get in and out. West Berlin. Checkpoint Charlie. Yeah. Check Check Charlie. Charlie. Check Charlie. Charlie. And you had to, you didn't need it. You didn't, it was no problem getting into West Berlin. The issue was getting in and out of, uh, getting in and out of East Berlin. When we, when we were leaving East Berlin, they actually got mi mirrors on these, on wheel, and they would be checking yeah. under the buses to make sure no one was hiding under the buses. So uh, there you go, East Berlin. Um, yeah, no, we got it figured out, but we said West. Okay. And well, yeah, you were wrong. Did. There you go. All right. Uh, now this one, <laughs> um, for some reason, I th it's it's sort of a Joe Steinerish. It's my uh, my dad's thing. I, I I don't know if anybody ever uh, else ever used this, but um, Center Heights. If it's Montreal, so if you look at the logo, if you look at the logo on the hockey team, it's a oh, big it's a C with an that. H in the middle. So I don't know. My dad used to say, "Oh, it means Center Heights." Uh, anyway, yeah, <laughs> that's the, that's so what, what is the name of the team? The Montreal Canadian. Canadians. So C C H is Club de Hockey Canadien. So C and Not H. Habitants. <laughs> Not have. That's a nickname. The habit. The Habs is sort the of a nickname, but it's Club Club Hockey uh, Canadien. All right, Did there you, you go. And, for the Carolina Hurricanes. And I don't know what <laughs> happened. Uh, um. Karen, you said it. I don't know whether you guys kept it. Um, Geneva and the the and the and yeah. the the jazz was the, to me the key. All right. Uh, whoops! What did I just do? I why just did that come it. out? Hold on, I gotta re, I redo this one because it's. You can say it. Say it. <laughs> no, I can't. You gotta keep. I'm gonna keep you guys. No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me let me try this one again. See if I pay, if I copy the right the right word this time. This is how do you keep a jackass in suspense? Because I have to remind <laughs> you that the bazillions of people watching this on YouTube right now don't see the. That's chat. right. Okay, hang on. Here we go. Yeah, but, um, all our fans. Montreux. Oh, you are yeah. hey, Karen. You said it. You said the Montreux Jazz. And there's the Montreux, Montreux Jazz. Yeah, we're... but you didn't know it's in Switzerland. Ah, Mont the Montreux it's Jazz on... Festival. It's so we said Geneva. Geneva. That's we said close. Geneva. Geneva. It's about a half an hour. It's close. Montreux is about a half an hour from Geneva, and yeah. uh, you you from from there from Montreux you look across Lake Geneva and you see, and they mm -hmm. have the French Alps. In fact, they're almost directly across is Evian, where the water comes from. So it's uh, there you go. Oh, so close. Yeah, I the only jazz festival I can think of in Europe. Yeah, you know. I said. Well, the, I'll tell you jazz what. Jazz is capitalized, and that's a clue. Mm. And jazz, jazz is um is actually very big in Europe. Has always been very big in France, in Paris. So, uh, and a lot of the great jazz musicians, the black jazz musicians who had their issues here in uh, in the states, uh, got a very warm reception oh. in 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 Paris. So, a lot of these guys uh, uh, were very successful in their in playing jazz in in, in Europe. So uh, there you go. Hmm. Good category. That was that was really fun. And was then the fact that it all was personal to you is kind of a nice little twist. Nah, so just making all that, the shit up. That is exactly right. So we have two categories open for next week. One is category and one is a bonus. Maybe somebody would like to come up with another category that is personal. I'll do the bonus. Okay. Ron's got the bonus. So I will need one more volunteer before the night is over. So just I will not that. be here next week because hockey. Because of what? Which? Hockey. My bonus hockey. is all about the Edmonton Oilers you, too. You, you record the stupid thing. What do you think I do? You watch it during during, <laughs> no. uh, during trivia. See, my neighborhood will go berserk throughout oh, yeah. the game, and they will spoil it for me. So I oh, can't watch sense. it delayed. You right. could get, you know what, cat? You could get a bunch and of You're supposed to play trivia, Alan, and not the cicadas watch hockey. will tune out the neighborhood. <laughs> you won't be able to hear a damn thing. Okay. And you're supposed to not uh, 
get your team a low score with your round either. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, number, number five, instead of a flag, we'll fly the bird for Alito. I gave you Karen. You <laughs> should be doing better. Yeah, we, you know, we, we got six. Okay. Okay. Yes, and start to the lead. Yes. Jolly giant, jolly green giant spiders from Mars. <laughs> we also, also got six. six. Yeah. Um, if you're a starliner, you can grab the ISS by the beep. We got four. Oh, come on. It was my team. What do you want? It was your oh. team, Alan. <laughs> you sink your team. Was Beethoven a USPS fan? He did write the Ode to Joy. Nine. Oh, oh. they had a ringer. Ron was on the team. That's the oh, only one. Yeah. And I blew the easy one. Oh. So three <laughs> questions read... about hockey. I had those. <laughs> Have you read the Wikipedia on Spinkopedia? Six. There you go. Mm. Six point two. Ooh, that was a good. Days. That's good when it comes up that way. Okay, so we got only got one more to go. The neck and neck for winning. I'm telling you. So it is. I Rob. need to say, Rob. Read this bonus. Yeah. Yes, I we... need to say good night. I'm falling asleep. All right. Good night, Wendy. Good night, Wendy. Good night, Wendy. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Wendy. I don't know famous what we're going to do without Wendy. you. Sorry, oh, Wendy. famous people, <laughs> bonus category, famous people named Wendy. Or things about Wendy we should know. Ten, ten things only <laughs> Wendy Hughes knows. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the next round? <laughs> yeah, only that's it's the next round. It's ten things <laughs> only Wendy Hughes knows. <laughs> bonus. Good night, you guys. So it actually is dun, dun, dun. most difficult actors. Oh. Name 10 of the top 20 most difficult actors to work with per Mojo. And that mm -hmm. file was made on July 20th, 2020, which is also a YouTube video. Oh my God. How would we know? Oh, that? Jesus Christ. That showed no, up on my feed today, and I didn't. No, I don't think he's one spoiling. of them. It showed Most up on my feed today, and I didn't to click on it. That is that is so subjective. Oh my well, god! Oh, he's got it based on. It's a yeah, 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 but it's so subjective. He's got a well, citation on there. Not if so. they stab their co-stars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that's one of the people on this list. Shoot them. Saying. That's a hypothetical. Shoot their co-stars, but you got to remember it's 2020. So is Dick Cheney on this? And most difficult to based on what? Well, what was what was it last week that some star that demanded some super fancy toilet paper? Oh yeah, we know who that is. No, 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 no talking. So go to your question, so, Rob. Yeah, so is this of all times most difficult actors to work with? That's that's pretty the, sure Keanu Reeves is on that list. That's the cat. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Should, go to your sorry, Chad. I had to say that. Are they living? <laughs> And and I will I will tell oh, you living? that two of them are no longer living. Okay. In fact, okay. number one and number two are no longer living. Wow. So, they were that. They hard were to killed work by with. their co-stars. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't pay to be be a pain in the ass, does it? <laughs> Karen, you're on four. I think shortens you your life. Now. Uh, Rob, you got me going to the wrong room. I should be going. No, to four. you can go wherever you want. I didn't take your powers away from you. Oh, I got you. Okay. Okay. Karen, you're back in five. So I'm okay. going to five. You know who I heard was really difficult to work with and he had very bad breath was uh, the uh, Rhett Butler. What's his name? His name is um, um, Clark Gablech. Huh? Clark Gable. Clark Gable. That's what I heard. Well, I heard the guy on, who played Darren on the Witch had run bad breath. But he's not are these film actors i was assuming okay this is the here's my list oh you have a list you keep a list well, no 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 i just i just started i just wrote a few names down oh okay right now so a little bit of it is my brother used to work down there he was a special effects makeup artist right so i heard some of these things um so i have um I, uh steven seagal Jean-Claude Van Damme, Marlon Brando, Dustin Hoffman, Val Kilner, and that guy Shia LaBeouf. I have no idea what word you're saying. That's what I wrote down. Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Never heard of him. Yeah, he's trying to ask. 
Get after S H I A L A B O E U S. Oh my God. Uh, how much? How about school. that guy who's trying to do math right now and reinvent math? Don't know. He must be a bore. What's his uh, name? The one that's been all over the news lately. His name is. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard anybody. The guy who that. says, he, who, who's like saying one times one is two or the, uh, that I, guy i don't know who you don't know anything about this not familiar. yeah he, oh my god um i've seen like four comments about him today his name is torrance terrence oh he's on the view the, oh with that plastic that model woman? he was in the um he was he was in a chair i saw him in a chair and he was sitting there and he's supposed to be some evil villain or something um what about ten things? His name is Torrance, Terrence, Torrance. Stamp. No, not stamp. No, um, it's a black there's guy. There's this woman that was in the um. He's reinventing math, and he says he's so smart. That one with Harrison Ford about the robots. It's Sean, Sean, we can include women. No. Yeah, her name. Yeah, Sean, Sean. something. Sean something. Oh uh, yeah. She's a piece of work. Sean I forget Ruth. her last name. I forget her last name too. Sean. It's not a. It's not a. a, a unusual name. It's a pretty plain name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, now they say actors are referring to the women. Well, if we could include women, what about Lindsay yeah. Lohan? They quit working with her because she got so drunk and on drugs and the, the insurance and stuff. And then I, I think Marilyn that. Monroe was difficult to work with too for the same reason that Who? Marilyn Monroe was difficult to work with too because for the same reason she would show up on the set drunk. Oh yeah, Marilyn We now Monroe have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if we could remember Sean's last name. Sean. Okay, let's go through the alphabet. Sean Ab K D Sean D D F. G Sean G G maybe maybe oh, H sorry. it might be H Sean L L L might be H or L, L, L Sean I don't think so um, N Sean uh, uh, P Sean R R R she was uh she played the girlfriend in uh, Cousins with the uh, Ted Danson and Isabella Rossellini uh Sean T Sean T T T L L what, what? It's, it might be an L, H, L, or W. Sean, S E A N is her name. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. The first name I can remember how to spell that one correctly. Yeah, young, young, young. It's young. Something like that. Sean Young. It's young. It's young. Sean okay. Young? Yep. Never heard of her. You sure? I don't know nothing. About that doesn't ring a bell. Sean it's John Young. She was in um, uh, Blade Runner. That's Blade what Runner. She was also Ted La La Jan Ted Danson's wife or ex-wife in Cousins with Isabella Rossellini. Sean Young. So we can do women too. Yeah, because that's what they call nowadays. They're they're calling the women the actresses. Actors rather than actresses. Yeah, I, that's I probably I've changed that. it to actors because actress has such a negative connotation, like someone who sleeps around a lot and pity. Do, do, and do we have like, Terrence's listen. last name? Terrence Stamp. That's how Terrence I know about. You She's said saying Terrence, it's a black guy. You said a, a black actor. Oh, that guy. His name is um. If I could just look at my computer for a second, I would know because no, you cannot. I know, but that uh, his name is um. He was on the View just the other day with some plastic model. He said he he went to Princeton and they threw him out because he was so smart and he. I don't he always it. watch the guests on the on the View. So I, what I did listen, you have a category in the View last week? I listen to hot. To I always I always DVR it, but then I watch the hot topics and politics. But I don't always listen to the interviews if i don't oh. know the person or i'm not interested in the person okay he's a very famous 
actor and he's just come on the scene recently for this thing about redefining pi and um, new math and adrian was just sending me a bunch of messages today she said and his name is so like bland it's like terrence okay but why are you convinced that it's him because he must be a nutcase he's he's redefining math okay I have be an idea. Difficult. Before we run out of time. Okay, never mind. I, I no, no. He, let's. I don't not... know if he's difficult. I just think he's a okay. nut. How about we agree on the one we see the ones we agree on, and okay. then we know how many we have to play with. Okay, so how many do we have? Eleven. Eleven. Oh. Okay, okay, so we need to take one off. Okay, wait. Maybe even more. Hoffman, Brando, Val Kilner. I mean, no, these are just ones that were suggested. We haven't agreed on it, these. Oh. Hoffman, Brando, Val Kilner, Steven Seagal, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Shayla Booth, Clark Gable, Sean Young, Terrence something or other, Lindsay Lohan, and Marilyn Monroe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that is 11. Hey, let's take one off. Well, how many of those are dead? Marilyn Monroe, Brando, Clark, Gable. Clark Gable. Oh, and Monroe. And Monroe. Brando. It's got to be Brando. He was notorious for being an Okay, absolute. take Clark Gable off because that's only something I heard. I don't know how accurate it is. And Marilyn I heard he did have bad breath. Yeah, uh -huh. I think take Marilyn Monroe off. I mean, uh, uh, Clark Cable off. And I think that's probably good enough. Okay. Do, don't we need a last name for this Terrence guy? No, we didn't. I thought we took him off. No, he's there. Well, take him off. Well, but um, then we're short one. Okay. Then add. No, we can't add Brando. Uh, can't add him back on. I think of women. If yeah. we're adding women, you guys, who else are difficult? We did keep Lindsay Lohan, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, um, any of the classic ones like the British women well, they have to be alive because we already got all the dead right yeah that's a lot of ones what about the oh what's her name is married to Brad Pitt I want him oh Angelina Jolie want to put her does she have a bad reputation i I don't know. Or how about it. Nicole Kidman? I think she's supposed to be okay, isn't she? Yeah, she's yeah, okay. They, they Angelina have Jolie, lost. I think she's got, well, she's, I think she's got so much drama and stuff. Right. That sounds like yeah, it. Okay. They, they made fun of her at one of the Academy Awards and her mornings. Here, here's a suggestion. Here's somebody count these, please. I could have numbered them. I didn't. Hoffman, Brando, Val Kilner, Steven Seagal, Jean Claude Van Damme, Sha Shia LaBeouf. Uh, Angelina Jolie, Sean Young, Terrence, we're not, sh oh no, L Lindsay Lohan and Marilyn Monroe, we're not going to do the Terrence guy. Mm -mm. That's 10. Okay. And well, then done. we're out of luck if women can't be included. Well, well, we'll, we'll tell them they have to be included now because they are calling actresses actors. So yeah, well, I guess you didn't see my year. broadcast message where I said that it's not gender specific. No. Ah, good. Good. Yeah. Well, we didn't see uh, it. Uh, who what's Hoffman's <gasps> first name? Wait, wait, you know who else? That guy, that Christopher guy that loses weight and stuff. Um, uh, never mind. John Candy. Okay. So I just found out well, this morning. I thought it was the last team I visited and I asked the question. They did not see my broadcast message. Did anyone else miss my broadcast message? Broadcast messages didn't come up for like a second. And yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't see it. I don't. I, think I always are... try just pop room to room and tell did, everyone. Did, did anyone presume that they all had to be men because it was named actor? No, no. we have no. multiple females. Okay, on our good. List. All right, that's all I want to go for. All right. Yeah, I don't know if the broadcast is is uh, reliable just because it's so quick and it's so yeah. tiny. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind for next time. But luckily, it didn't affect us. All righty. So I'm just going to read them off, and then I will paste them into the chat all at once. Starting okay. with number <laughs> twenty. Steven Seagal. Yay. Oh, I should Yay oh, for yeah. number 20. And then, of course, 19 is, he had to be on this list, Charlie Sheen, yeah. which yeah. came up before. Oh, yeah. Romero. Um, what's, what's his actual name? Estevez. 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 Uh, Carlos. Carlos Estevez. Estevez. 
Number 18 is somebody I don't even know who this is. Thomas Gibson. Who is that? Don't know. Number 17, Shia LaBeouf. Oh, yeah, I heard about oh, yeah. him. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. yep. Number 16. Oh, my God, this is unfortunate. William Shatner. <gasps> I was I wondering how, he was how, on how there. dare they? Yeah. Uh, I, I can't believe he's he. hard work with. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he was a jerk. Number um, 15 yeah. is. Edward Norton. Really? Did anyone one hear team that? Say that? Edward oh. Norton. Edward Norton. Yep. Yeah. Really? Yeah, the reason why he didn't come back for the Hulk. Oh. If 14, I don't know who this is. Klaus Kinski. Oh, okay. yeah. He's a German actor. Yeah. German actor. 13, J Lo. <gasps> yeah. Oh. What is I forgot Beyonce. Surprise. Number 12, uh, they're real and they're spectacular. Uh -huh. Terry Hatcher. Terry Hatcher. Wow. wow. Number 11, <laughs> Catherine Hale. Oh, yeah. She's an alien from Roswell. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah. Number 10 is uh, unfortunately uh, not very gleeful. Lee Michelle. Michael? Oh, yeah. Okay. Number nine is Batman. Christian Bale. Oh, oh, yes. oh and how was Christian Bale? Number eight. Yeah. Is unfortunately, it surprises me, Bruce Willis. I never heard this before. Oh, oh yeah. I heard that a lot. Yeah. Well, I just thought of a guy. I wonder if he's on the list. Number seven, Sean Penn. Oh, oh, that's, right. oh that's right. He was oh, always stabbing yes. people or something. He's <laughs> punching to talk of his. Number six, Mike Myers. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He just plays himself yep. on everything. So he probably. <laughs> Number five, he like I heard himself. several teams get this one Val Kilmer. Oh boy! Oh, oh we mentioned it, but didn't oh. put him on our list. Dang it! By the way, interestingly, there there's a, of these twenty people, only six are women. Number four is a woman, Lindsay Lohan. We got her. Oh, oh that, that makes sense. Hmm. Number three is Chevy Chase. Oh yeah! Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, really? Who? Oh yeah, big Chevy jerk. Chase. And number Chevy two Chevy. and number one are the dead people. Number two is Joan Crawford. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Number sense. one, I heard at least one team say this guy had to be on here for sure. Marlon Brando. Brando. Oh, uh, wow. Yay. Wow, we did I'm terrible. I'd like to hear what other people said for answers. All right, I'm going to the the so right, I'm gonna put the answers in the chat. Because there's so many other people that you hear. I'd like to hear what the other people what other people got wrong. Well, I put the other person that uh, Chevy Chase got in a fight with. Uh, Bill Murray. Bill Murray. All right. Uh, yeah, we, we, we thought Mike. Everybody said Tom Cruise. No, uh, no, he's supposed to be really, really nice. We went back and forth between Joan Crawford and Elizabeth Taylor. We <laughs> mentioned <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor. We, we, we also mentioned Betty Davis and oh, I, no, I, Mel we Gibson. Just, yeah, I know. We did Mel have Gibson. Mel Gibson. We put Mel Gibson too. Any we just, Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, we just oh, yeah. we just saw no, the Gerard we, Depardieu. We just saw the Fall Guy this weekend. I love and, that. And um, they made a joke about Tom Cruise because, like, supposedly he does all his own stunts, <laughs> but the, the the stunt guys, are, oh, they just put his face on all the stunt guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Fall Guy was great. I'm surprised uh, Charles Grodin yeah. wasn't on the list. I'm really enjoyed it. I'm surprised Keanu Reeves was, was not on the list. <laughs> <laughs> but Bill, Bill Murray's supposed to be not saying he was apparently he was uh, he was here in in. Carmel for you know one of the golf he's always in the golf he's always in one mm -hmm. of the golf conferences or whatever anyway apparently he was at a um a restaurant and some fan was trying to you know take a photo from across the room and he was so pissed he got up from his table he grabbed her phone and threw it out into the street Wow. And he's like, yeah. when, when when he's here for the golf stuff, he goes and visits the people in the hospice. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, well, a nice guy. well so, he can he can do that because then he can he can be nasty to them because he knows they'll be dead in a couple of days. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So so I put the article in the chat as well as the YouTube video uh that I started as well. What else did we have Ron on our list that hasn't been mentioned? I a lot, Ron. Oh, uh, Gerard Depardieu, Jean-Claude Van Damme. We had Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean Alec Baldwin. Uh, I put Monroe. Denzel Washington because I, I put, know he's been pretty mouthy with directors and stuff. 
I put Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, Nicholson. Dreyfus, Jack Nicholson have... was the last minute it's... ad for us. Yeah. But Mel Gibson, I thought for sure was on that. Yeah, one. Mel Gibson. Well, well you know, it's a... person Charles Brodin was such a, a jerk. Lot of actors. Charles well, Brodin Mel Gibson just yells at his uh, ex. He doesn't actually, actually yeah. yell at people on set, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought, if anybody's heard those calls I those are Kevin some Spacey. Isn't yeah, he's yeah, crazy or something he's a jerk now yeah he was a weirdo well arnold schwarzenegger was known for being real sexist harassing yeah, he used to yeah, grab he used to grab women. Women. yeah yeah as long as you don't get pregnant from him it's he right. grabbed his co-star from the terminator okay. but he actually grabbed her it's his, okay to twin sexually sister. harass twin sister, your co-workers yeah. but when you're a wealthy movie star Okay, mm -hmm. scores. That's a good I'm test. having problems with my my screen. It's it's just locks. I don't. And Sean Young, we, Cindy, and I both. Oh have yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That she'd be a good one for the list too. Yeah. She's she's a psycho. Well, guess, Susan, if you can't if you can't get the scores up, then it's a tie for everybody. <laughs> no, yeah. I finally got it. It just went, but it's been acting strange. She's okay. got to be in the twenties at least, because that's the thing. I'd like to see a longer list to see who's in the like the twenty to thirty range. Bet you could Google that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got some closer scores than when you would think: 22, yeah, 23, 24, close. 28, and twenty. Neck and neck, neck and neck here. Okay, so let's start with instead of a flag, we'll fly the bird for Alito, which is the category that which is the team that Rob the had. ten, ten. No, we did no. <laughs> five. Don't five. lie, Kevin. I'm I wasn't that on that team. <laughs> All right. So then, if you're a Starliner, you can grab the ISS by we got a ten. Huh? We got a whopping shush, please. We got a two. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've just been taken over. Jolly green giant spiders from space or uh, Mars. Eight. We had eight. Wow. You know, yeah. the, you know the dirty dogs, don't you? Have you Some read the Wikipedia and Spanapedia? <laughs> oh, you at that time. How many? Five. There's the winner. Uh, I don't know. Was Beethoven a USPS fan? He did write the Ode to Joy. Two. And we just hit the Ode to Third. Two. <laughs> Two. You mean you oh, just got sucked? Whoa, I teach you over. Pretty close. Whoa. Huh? Wow. Dang, dang. We have a category. Who are the top 10 worst teammates in uh, in trivia? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't That's feel bad that fair. we weren't the only ones to get a two on no, there. I, I do need a yeah. bonus round. I, so that was a hard category, but the cicadas was still worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need a I need somebody who's gonna do a category. I have Vincent, Rob, Jamie. And Ron's doing the category uh, bonus next week. I can ask uh, Gustav. <laughs> Don't give it away, Kevin. Don't give it away. Wait, is that Ben who's waving his hand saying he no. wants to do it? All right, Susan, I'll do it. Okay, Gail, do it. Thank you, Yay. Gail. Now that I'm back in school and working full time, it's going to be pretty far, few and far between. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm going to show you this. So hold on. Hold the hold the horses. Stop recording. Mm -hmm. No. Mm, yeah, I probably should stop recording. So hold on. Uh, stop video. No, that's my video. I don't want to stop my video. <laughs> he was. He was I, too I was close thinking to the same the thing here. Well, because they, they, call toast toast because yeah, I've, I've that, I've yeah. they call it a toaster. Because yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that before. I've just never oh. heard it called a toaster. Yeah, okay. because he's a pop tart. That's why they call yeah. him. He's That's a pop tart, awesome. and he got toasted. Oh, <laughs> MJ oh. They called it the toaster. Did mm. Did he ever get? Did it, he ever get hurt there? Because I could see that something going really wrong there. Well, yeah, he, he uh, stay in the center. I don't he know could about smash. the popping out, but the pyrotechnics being too close to him caught his hair on fire. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's just one of the things that I Pepsi think Pepsi led Pepsi. to Pepsi. his Pepsi. commercial. Pepsi. His, Pepsi. Uh, early death because yeah, of after that incident mm -hmm. he had scarring and he was taking medication yep. because um, of the pain that he was in that and then the, the medication led to yep, they having a doctor that. give him stuff to allow him to oh, fall oh. asleep and that was the yeah. you know mm. it's always about dying from right because he was given too much or something oh, yeah. 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 Right. so yeah. um Romero yeah, I see you there. So I'm just having a conversation with Erica Ingle Ingle out. 
out. And uh, I was talking to her today about Wikipedia related science journalists, female science journalists. We were talking about it at, uh, at the New Mexicans. No, Raleigh Skeptic App. I am just <laughs> right now with our names. Anyway, so I was telling her that that Brandy did a category, a trivia category on her book, Gory Details, um, back in December of last year. And she goes, oh, I, oh, I remember meeting Brandy. And I said, yeah. And then she wrote to me about something else. And I said, and Romero just did a category that was the first names of everyone that was a speaker at Skeptic Camp. But I gave her that this one was yours. American painter. She's the daughter of philanthropist Camille, Camille Cosby and comedian William Henry Cosby. So I, I think she'll get a kick of that. So if you hear anything from her, that's because I just told her you did a category. So, so didn't we spend so many hours trying to talk her into coming to this game? And you guys were her? you guys were just fanatics or something. I thought there was like, what the hell's you guys? You're over. And I think we we started arguing and we started telling her that we <laughs> argue a lot and. Like, okay. We spent 45 minutes pitching trivia and they're both on the East Coast. They're not, it's only crazy people that show up for trivia on these. Hey, I, I, I resemble that. Remark. Yeah, me too. I agree. Well, you guys, yeah. But it's I not didn't, like, I didn't, Alan. um, I forfeited my, my, uh, category last week because I, I was so tired. You did UFOs. No, oh, no, it, it was, wasn't me. It was great. No, it wasn't. It was some yeah. some new guest. I had a uh, guest. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yes. Yeah. Um, it was an what expert. was his name? Um, Guzman. 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 Yes. Guzman. Yeah, he did a great Guzman. job. Guzman, he was good. Yeah, he's welcome. Are, anytime. are you staying in contact, Kevin? Do you think he might? Return? I think he might make a return appearance. Okay. But yeah. Oh I'm my like, God! I'll ask him to do something I, on the I, UFOs. I quite couldn't or, make out his accent. It was sort of a mix did of you, European and Bostonian. <laughs> did, did you, did you watch that, that Susan? German, German. I only uploaded the video and I wrote down the category. Oh, it was names. too funny. Oh, you got to you got to watch that one. Oh, I'm gonna watch them all, but yeah, I didn't realize I okay. Well, I, would, I would I would I would start there. Oh, that was such a good one. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't I thought really... you made it better, Susan. I have a question for you. Yes, Ben. It wasn't your um, traditional trivia questions by any you know, means. It was. Uh, <laughs> well, it was you guys funny. are not quite traditional. Uh, no, that's very people. true. But not I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't. Wasn't fact based. Oh, yeah, but you okay. realize that oh. every time I didn't look at the questions, I only said the category. I try to do something like way different than I've done before. Well, good. Until I find something that works, then I do it too much. Like <laughs> I did about ten songs, and I'm done with the songs. Okay. Well, you know what? I like that we're challenging ourselves. So Ben had a question for me. Yes. So my question: When I am running the game while you're gone. I know you typically wait to start recording. You let people kind of chit chat or whatever a little bit. But since you're not there, would you prefer to start recording like immediately when yeah, people start getting I together? Wanna, I want to listen. But to you I wasn't talk. sure if you had a limit to how long no. of a video you wanted to upload or anything. Nope, I don't care. Okay, but all right, good start to know. whenever you remember. Because you could always trim it if you wanted, anyway. No, but... it's for me. I'm not doing. <laughs> you're it like guys. I upload the whole the thing. Okay, I want. It's for me when I start having memory problems and I miss you guys. I can just turn it on. You guys are just in the background talking to me. I don't care about you guys. <laughs> well, then I'll just start recording right away and just let people know, hey. <laughs> you're recorded. Well, you're, yeah, you're I don't recorded. Mind. That's Because I figure you, you, you don't want to miss the fun of us chit-chatting before the game starts. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mean? 20 years from now, you go, uh, Trump is still president. They're still talking about him. I don't understand it. <laughs> well, think about it. You guys, if you wanted to go back because we're almost on year four. If you wanted to go back and listen to these things or find the first game you played, there's probably, you're going to be like, what the hell? There's a couple of early ones you didn't record, though. I didn't record for a long time. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's a more I just relatively up, recent with the amount of games that we've done. This isn't, yeah. this isn't a, oh, we just had line 9,000. We're over 9,000 questions now, I think. So isn't uh, it's it's database time, Susan? That spreadsheet's becoming isn't, isn't unwieldy. June eleven going to be the four year anniversary. Which day? June eleven. Well, well we're on June six. Well, the very first one on June eleven, twenty twenty. So next wow. week will be our year four. Yeah, the end well, of I may year have four, to pop beginning in. of year five. Well, yeah, cat. 
Hey, sure. why is it? At, why am I having trouble with my spreadsheet right now? I cannot get like I've copied uh, whoever can see it June 13th. And normally I would just be it, nothing's working. Or is it because it's too full? Too large. I'm on 9,000. Question. Add more rows. Actually, I... 9,000. We're not at 9,000. We're at 8,998. I put a virus <laughs> in it last week. No, it's been it's, working it's been until the last months. few minutes. Rob, do you want to try and fix your uh, new text document? <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Okay. It's it's frozen. I'm on. You can see where I'm at. See, it's frozen right there. It's your computer. I can type Close it, it and reopen it. It's just you. It's not the file. How many windows do you have open? See, it's not. It's, it's, no, I, I always have top tabs on, and I just. But how many do you have? That might be the issue. One, two, three, four, five on that screen. There. It's only. You might have filled up the memory and graphics. That's not yeah. slowing things down. Yeah, it's nothing. See how it's see, not working? It's because see where I, where I just typed one to five? Did you see that? Yeah, but it's not letting me do it. Yeah, well, so it's your computer. It's Are you sharing? Five. I don't even see your screen right now. Oh, I wasn't sharing. Hold on, let me share. So you guys can Let's watch slow me. slow down more. See, I was like, see how I'm not, I'm clicking on things and it's not working. Is it because Rob's there? No, see I wasn't there you know? until you asked me he to He has um, selected these things, but I can't select anything. Well, actually, actually, now they're gone. I deleted them and you still see them. So you're definitely having a problem. Oh, it says Lisa. Oh, wow. Well, I closed it. Let me go. Oh, you guys shouldn't be looking at my watch list here. Oh, man. Oh. You just, you just broadcast the secret cabal information to the recording. Oh, oh no. They have to watch the whole video to get to where that we were. Well, Susan, you could actually, like, uh, instead of using the web, you can actually get the Sheets application and do it. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> that's the one thing that, you know, how anytime you open it, you have to scroll all the way down to the end. Yes, it I starts at that. the top. Right, or you can just with, hit Control Arrow down, and it'll oh yeah. You. But with the with the Sheets application, because I actually you uh, the view the spreadsheet on my phone using the Sheets app, and it remembers the last place I was in the spreadsheet. See how it's, it's kind of it's doing which is fancy schmancy, but it's an app. Yeah, yeah. Or, I mean these Google. I mean you're just using the web version of the Sheets app essentially. It's just Google's version of, of Office products. So what's the week that you first recorded? What number? Do you know? Uh, nothing's working. Oh, first, like, recorded a YouTube video? Yeah. 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 It's not and, working. What the heck is wrong with my computer? Close the Michael Computer's Jackson frozen. window. Close a couple of tabs. <laughs> see if it gives you any more power. Okay, let me see. Your videos... Well, I think I'm going to Not quite 10. Good. You got two minutes till 10. We have 165 videos for our social trivia. Woo! Wow. Is I've watched about three of them. That helps. <laughs> the ones I, weren't, I wasn't at, I watched. Yeah. some that are 40. And 15, the one I did the 15. entire day, I watched a couple times because I was trying to remember what some of the answers were. We have an unlisted one that's been viewed 116 times. So who's awesome? watching these, you wonder, huh? 76, 61, 53. We have one in October of 2023 that has 146 views. So you got to so click you've on recorded about 76% of all the trivia nights. Oh. So the first game wow. I recorded was more than I thought. two. Oh, where is it? Oh gosh. You know, I think it's it's uh, Robert Heatherly. He's he and a team of people <laughs> Rob Heatherly. are spending He's hours. Heard. I I really wouldn't put it past him to find out if anything. Because did you did you watch that long video he did? And he said, "I have examined Mick West's vacations and decided when he would be in, at his computer and when he would not, and when Lucky Louie was editing Wikipedia to he match the dates." It's like, oh, that's my God. That's, that's, crazy. Crazy. that's the one you posted. You posted that video. That's where he says it. that. Mm -hmm. That's where he says that stuff. Yeah. Somebody watched it? Yeah, Even, I watched it about let's say, minutes. Let's say he uncovered something that's true. Let's give him the, maybe it's, so what? So what? At this point, so what? 
At this point, I think he just wants to prove that Mick West is a liar. I mean, that's the point. Because Mick I West think what he robbed repeatedly said, no, he's not. To be famous himself and to be a hero. He thinks he, he wants to be a hero like the other uh, whistleblower, David. David Goresh. Yeah. He be like them. And it's so silly. He's just like a low, no-name military guy who's, no, there's you're not. He's not even like a military guy. He's just kind of weird. I mean, when he was talking on camera, he wouldn't even look at the camera. He kept looking down. It's like, yeah, I think he's got autism. That's what I thought, too. That's what I thought, too. No, but I made the comment that I, I think these guys want to live in a movie script. <laughs> and they want to show how smart they are by finding these, all these conspiracies. They're smarter than the average person because they can spot these conspiracies. Yeah, in, a, in a conspiracy, there's a little tiny <laughs> bit of truth that they link to another bit of truth somewhere. Oh, oh, I just discovered something. Yeah, just to show how smart they are. Game 46, I think, is the first one we've recorded. Yeah, it's it's odd how they it well it has become a religion and Rob 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 Ron Rob Heatherly he's 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 a uh, uber Christian guy so uh, I didn't get I didn't pick up on that so, one. I picked that up from other things he's the, done I didn't catch that on that last one that I watched the whole entire thing because they mentioned me four times well I, I heard after the they mentioned me the first time within five minutes. I had, oh my God, now I have to listen to the whole freaking two hours to see if they talk about me other times. So that's why I listened to the whole thing. But Did in the last, me? in the, oh yeah, you were much more than me and Mick West also and Lucky Louie. I, I was like way down on the list, but it was four times. But the really interesting thing was they finally got away from the UFO topic in the last, I'll say 45 minutes. And they were all into universal <laughs> consciousness and spiritualism <laughs> and every. Don Cheadle. Yeah. He's he's the one that went on the view. He went on Joe Rogan and talked about like the periodic uh table and uh, he just three. went crazy. One times one is two. You gotta watch. It's it's what? he he's put in patents, uh he's like talking about all the stuff that he's Throw come up with that the that everyone else is trying to discredit or or bury and i don't know he's reinvented you gotta watch it it's crazy the there's a good video of... i don't know if i still have it but it's uh some guy who made a 20 minute scientific um rant about his going on joe rogan and how everything that he said was wrong there yeah there's a guy who did um his name is his name is uh, Kyle Hill. He did a video to a live stream to, I guess that's what Adrian was talking about. Okay. You're talking about da Doc, professor Dave explains who did the rant about him. And that may mean. have been what it was. Yeah. He was kind of mean. He was calling him narcissists and, you know, and stuff that was kind of mean, but this guy named Kyle Hill, Adrian shared with me today. She says he is uh, really nice. He told him today, uh, he was calm. He rejected personal attacks and he did a better job than professor Dave. He said over and over, he doesn't know him. And he would probably, he says, you would probably be a lovely dinner guest. Uh, but he, but he was talking to him saying when you're rich and surrounded by yes, people, you can become more self-important, essentially negative reinforcement. <laughs> and he says uh, he played bits of the Rogan interview and talked about the misuse of language, math, psychic, uh, physics, and pointed out where he was correct and where he was misunderstanding. And then Terrence Howard had to stop the interview to take a cleanser from, I guess, from Gwyneth Paltrow. So the, Kyle Hall had to talk to him about Gwyneth Paltrow. And then he talked a lot about what's the harm. And he said he didn't focus on the in just on the incorrect. He was talking to him like, you know, you're just misinformed and I'm sure you're a very nice guy and that kind of thing. But when he went on The View, it was so embarrassing because it's all those women. And this guy's got this plastic, like you blow up plastic, multi-sided with clear pipes like what the hell is this a model of a pyramid what would you call that um you mean that toy stuff they used to make plastic balloons no no hold on 
bubbles. It's it's crazy if you watch it. It's just like I don't know. It, Was it, he it, having it, a break with reality or something? I mean, yes. he's been, he's been divorced multiple times. Maybe he's having a mental illness breakdown. Well, that's he what people are saying. Team. But he, he's he hasn't he's just. They're giving him. Well, then why are they giving him the? Well, I mean, it's been going on for a little while. I mean, he's been putting in patents and. <laughs> that yeah, costs a lot of money. Yeah. He's got a lot of money, I guess, because it costs a lot of money to apply for patents. Yeah, the one I watched, Susan, was the Professor Dave explained. Then yeah, yeah he he he, he really kind of tears out. into him. So he, he tears into him, but he does it meanly because he's yeah. saying this guy's yeah he's control. he calls him bad bad words and stuff. So yes, it was an. That's usually my thing. first reaction to the nuts. To the nuts. But then I, 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 I I'm I, hoping I can find that picture. But it was it. like. It's a plastic, a clear plastic globular thing that you can, Water. it's got like some, and he's like showing it to the women on the view and he's talking to them about new math that he's made. And they're like, oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm thinking, girls, no, come on. You look stupid. You don't just make up math. He's like, I was throwing out of Princeton because I was just so smart. I just made them look so stupid <laughs> Like, but it's, it's sounding like Trump now. Oh, well, that was just my thing. But it was like, why would you? Why would you, you never get thrown out of a post secondary institution for being too smart? That's true. Well, I think the whole Joe Rogan thing was like three hours long or something yes. crazy like that. I'm like, oh my lord. Does it make come up with that image? The, the guy from uh, Blink 182 is uh, into UFOs. And he was like all excited because he had proof that the government is hiding stuff. And he was on Joe Rogan. And I, my son's listening. I says, you know, this is bullshit, right? My son's like, I don't know. Listen to what he's saying. He's got some good points. I'm like, oh, please don't go there. <laughs> this actor, an actor has discovered new math. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, that just what what is wrong with that sentence? Well, you know, there've been some pretty intelligent actors. You know, the one who invented the what? Hibidu Let's say he R. did come up with it's... something new that mathematicians said. And then right away we would go, "Wow, give this guy a prize!" That would be celebrating it. It would be big news. Right. This is just stupid, you guys. There's just the fact that nobody one times one is not two. And that's what it, that's his basics. He says one times one is two. I'm like one plus one is two, but yeah. not one times one. It is not two. I don't care how many right. plastic globular like things. Abbott and Costello do a bit about that where they add things up and they owe people money and they they buy <laughs> things and they always end up winning or losing money by by doing some tricky math. Look! Look at some of the stuff he's got here. Check this out. Here's some of his stuff. Here's here's one of his. Oh, that guy! I know who he yeah. is. Oh, oh yeah. I think I've seen him in a couple of things. Yeah, he's been in a bunch of stuff, apparently. But look at this thing. How do I make this larger? He the guy from uh, Scrubs. No. no. Well, no. he did oh, a science there's fiction some show thing with he's using Tony with the... Jones. Yeah, those are toys. I've seen those things. Yeah, but he's making them to make new math. Oh, okay. Explain this. And then he's been using these bubble things. Here's like what he put on. He put on. Um, this is the, the kind view? of stuff he had this, on the view. That's more like origami. It's new math. It's not new math. <laughs> that's what he's, he had like he had one of these things on there, and he's like showing these women on the view. Uh, Susan, I have a picture I can share if you want. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I see that one he had on the view. I have the one from the view. It's okay. just the vi it's that Dave. It's the video, but I'll just share the yeah, screenshot since we don't want to watch the video. There it is. There you go, guys. Oh, that's, still so cool. that's balloon animals. And the women are like, "Ooh." So what's he trying to? Pr what was he trying to prove with that? That one times one is two. This is an undiscovered geometry that I am now making known to the world here yeah, on the show. Go. That's yeah. exactly what That's balloon You know, already it, there's peace in the Middle East and homelessness has been eliminated thanks to that. <laughs> it's so great. You don't think he has anything better? You just can't. 
math is math, right? You don't. You don't. I don't know. We, we might need to ask well, Avi. No, so it is. It. it is possible because like calculus was invented. Yeah, right? and, and there are ways you can create a new mathematics. Somebody invented imaginary numbers. Yes, but but I don't think this guy has done that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, One I mean, he gets into everything. He goes into physics, chemistry, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know, mathematics, like gravity. He talks about how you could create set. He he pulls up like a computer model on, in some software. I don't know what software was, but he was able to create Saturn without gravity. Ooh. Was he able to create transparent aluminum? Uh, Apparently. And and so, you know, the big the biggest problem there, of course, is like if, you know, Isaac Newton were around today, and he, and that's calculus was just being invented. He wouldn't go on a television show with a bunch of people who don't know anything about math and say, "Hey, yeah, this proves I made a new math." No, you go to other mathematicians. Right, to prove it. That's yeah. it. He, he is maybe delusional. That's what they think. There's something wrong with him. But he's he's. <sighs> I get these are the same shows that promote psychics too. Yeah, yeah that's true. Anything for fucking ratings. And and they're making a fortune with everybody looking at the clips on the view. Same with Joe Warren. But it's, I have this list of people who are complete. Reminds me of this. Oh, it's Dr. called R. Terryology. Terryology now. Is that Kooks? Kooks by Donna um, Kazi. She's a great speaker for us a while, many years back. She, has, she made the Kooks Museum website. <laughs> but uh, all of us who've been in skeptics movement have... Uh, had received kooks letters and they follow you know a certain pattern they're like single space tiny type they go clear out to the margins sometimes if they're handwritten they write down the sides you know and we received i have a whole stack of kooks letters that i've received who are these and they do they do all this thing they don't generally get on tv but you could make a book and people would want to read them. I cannot get this thing. I could. Spreadsheet. It is a problem. So if I downloaded, I have on my phone, I have an app, but I can't have an app on my computer for this, right? So do you think these guys who are my mute? UFOs and all these uh, We all know. We don't have to ask your questions. We have the app on your computer as well. What are you talking about? Well, the spreadsheet is massively long. Well, your Excel? No, it's not Excel. It's Google Google Doc. Well, Google oh, it's the classic advice. Try rebooting your computer. Turn it off and turn it back on again. Well, I did that If earlier. the problem goes away. Put, put yeah. down. I gotta go, guys. Do it with only one. No tabs. I'm in my bedroom. No tabs. Good night. Good night. I'm looking. I don't see it, Janine. Cook. Oh, sorry. Classic Cook's letter. Single spaced. Goes down the sides. No margins. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. At least you know. Crayon. They're proving maybe proving the Earth is flat, or God knows. The colonel. Because he puts <laughs> we know what Karen's listening to <laughs> the video. <laughs> That's a great scene. I love that movie. It's one of the best scenes in movies. What's and it's got one that? of the most difficult actors to work with. What's the movie? Uh, so I married an axe murderer. Oh, I never seen that. Mike oh, Myers. Nice. Yeah, it's crazy. It's the scene out. where where the conspiracy with the colonel puts yeah. addictive stuff in the oh. in the KFC chicken the to world make you crave it. Conspiracy called the you know what? Carl this put the book. link in the chat. It's so good. What, Janine? This book was written in the 1990s, but I just opened up to a page that said, Is JFK Alive? An interview with Bernie Bain. He's supposed to be living on an island with Marlon Brando and Michael Jackson. Uh, who's <laughs> Bernie Bain? Bain has maintained for the past 30 years that JFK's assassination was a hoax and that JFK is actually alive. Is he hanging yeah, out with Elvis and Hitler? Alive too. Well, and no, he's, is JFK Jr. with him now? He's supposed to be. He I would guess so. He also supposedly yeah. 
not die in the plane crash. They made a statue of and then Elvis is still alive together, too. As both as adults and they aged John F. Kennedy to make him look like if he was still alive today. And Robert uh, John F. Kennedy Jr. like he was when he died. It's, a, it's like father, son, and it's a big statue. And it's like, what the hell? Who thought of who would do this something like this, you know? Wasn't John F. K. Jr. gonna come back and like, yeah, he's supposed to, yeah. Supposed to be president, president. vice president or yeah. something? Supposed to be president. And uh, and some people think he's on Trump's side. I think he's gonna too. come back and restore Trump to power somehow. Yeah. I he's think he was gonna be vice president or something. JFK twenty twenty four. When we were kids, we did a seance. I'm going to bed. Good night, everybody. We, we try to bring night, man. We try What's to bring up? JFK. Thanks. We try to spirit. We reached the spirit of JFK as we were kids, and we would go, JFK, where are you? And we scared the crap out of the neighborhood kids. And the last thing my friend said was, tonight, while everyone's sleeping, I want you to touch them in the back of the head where the bullet went in. And three or four of the kids tell me, oh, last night I was freaking yeah. out. We, the whole thing yeah. was made up. But we scared the crap out of some of the neighborhood kids. Yeah, we've done stuff like that when I was a kid, like with a yeah, Ouija Yeah, I was in board. middle school, we did this. With a Ouija board, and then... Yeah, we did Ouija boards. Yeah. Well, you guys are evil. I never did anything like that. No, my friend did a seance, <laughs> he, and then he, we didn't know who was going to bring back, and he's trying to bring back JFK. He kept saying, JFK, where are you? Touch touch us in our sleep exactly where the bullet went in your skull. And my friend next day was going, oh my God, I had a good sleep. I kept getting poked all night. And I was like, you... you <laughs> One of us was making it up, and the other guy was laughing. And I was like, "Oh my god, we scared the crap out of those kids." Oh, we did lots of Ouija board stuff, and then we would like we actually like levitated over yep. with our. I I sort of. Oh yeah, that was a real big thing when I was a kid. I used to it's tell a lot of stories. Levitation. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. We used to tell a lot of you know camp camp stories, scary stories. And one of the things that was funny was one time I had an opportunity when I was 20 and a friend of mine asked me to, to um, uh, go with him because he needed another adult. And there was, uh, we had to uh, chauffeur these kids or whatever you call it, you know, we, and we went to a cabin in New Hampshire and there was like eight or nine kids. It was me, my wife and my friend Mario. And we were the adults there. We had to chaperone them. And then they were acting up like crazy. So my friend Mario says, Kevin, tell him a scary story, you know, from Scouts. I had these tough inner city punks almost crying. Almost. They were 16, 17, 18 years old. And they were almost in tears. No more, no more, please stop. They were begging me to stop. And I only told them like three stories about insane asylums and the people who were in the woods and hockey masks and stuff. Like that. They were scared. It was so funny to watch these tough punks just become crying little babies <laughs> all right on that note we're ending early good night everybody else. Good night. Night. i'm so right, good night don't forget to watch the video because yes. Jane, was, do, do you want was, do you want me to bring you eggs did you see my text no i've been gone all day and... oh i think i sent this yesterday we got a reply back gone from all the day. Glory. <laughs> <laughs> we got to right, fly back from the Lori Loki. Bye.